Hey y'all, actually happy. I want to tell y'all. Uh, you know what I was about to say? Y'all don't even want to hear what I'm about to say because I showed about to so stupid, which was uh, double tap shut alive. Don't have to say that over here. It's IG, but y'all can't shut alive. All right, so hey y'all, what's going on? Du like y'all, uh, come on in. Let's go. Oh, God dang it. One of the days is one of the days for me. Hey, what's going on, Lacey? How are you? What's T? What's T? Hey, 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 hey. What is up? What is up? How y'all doing? What's going on? <sighs> Put this on. Hi. Hi. Okay. No, I can't. Look. Okay. Hey! What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? What's going on, bro? How you doing? Y'all need to come out here more sometime. But I'm in um I'm in Houston. It's also Atlanta, not Houston. I am in Houston this week. In. Excuse me, I'm in Atlanta this weekend. It may be. It may be. What's going on, your daily mess? How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What's up? What's up in the hood? I really can't find my fucking car. I'm trying to see what the fuck would I do with it. Okay, car. I'm looking for a specific car that I have. Oh, and I can't find it. And I don't want to, I don't want to wait. Because they could send me another one, but it's going to be forever. I have to find this car. Yes, I'm booked tonight. I have Peg's party tonight, and I actually have tomorrow. So tonight I have Peg's party, and tomorrow I have um. Tomorrow I have. What do I have tomorrow? And tomorrow I have uh. Hey, I dream around the. You don't mess with us on IG. Yes, I do. I'm coming to give y'all this exclusive interview. I didn't give it to no other app. I where are they at? Where are where are these hoes at? Jamie, come on. I can, I need, I need, that's one of my cars. I need my other car. I need my fucking other car. <laughs> my other car, my car, car. What's going on, Puss? I see you. I love when you find money in your pocket. That's what's up. What's going on? What's going on, baby mama? How you doing? <laughs> I never been here. How you doing? Y'all can hear me and stuff? Y'all can hear me and stuff? Okay. No, 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 no. Where is? What? What's T shaking? We about to talk. We about to talk to the Wind Twins. I don't know who you is, Princess. So I'm sorry. Uh, we we talk, about to talk to the Wind Twins. Uh, if y'all don't know who they are, we're gonna reintroduce y'all to them. Um, they are the. Uh, I don't know if y'all can hear me on the thing, but they are the world famous Wind Twins. I mean, what else? Should I, who don't know them? <laughs> but if you don't know them, we're about to get to know them. They are transgender twins. They've been on uh, national TV before. They've been uh, social media stuff. Did they find those babies? Uh, two of them they found. Two. They're still looking for the other one. Last I uh, heard about the situation. Um, shout out to the people that was telling me. Shout out to the people that was telling me to uh, still go out there and, and, do, and do it. People could be so. No problem, baby. No problem. That's what's up. I do what I could do. Where the, where the girls at? Didn't they get into it with the famous twins? Well, we finna find out. We finna ask them that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, but we gonna find. We go. We gonna, We gonna find out right now. Ah, it's, it's it's not putting it's putting them in my ear. It's not putting them in the. Where you at? Oh my god! <laughs> so she's um she talking about me being fashionably late, bitch. You fashionably late. All right, let me see something. I might have to. I want to hit them because they talk a lot of shit. So my, I need to put my AirPods. What are they famous for? Um, being transgender twins. You don't think that's famous? Happy Friday the 13th. Y'all see, I'm in Friday the 13th mode. They're just supposed to be there at 7. Where is 7 Eastern time? <laughs> it's definitely 7 Eastern time. So hopefully, let me just see. Let me, if I turn it off on here. Oh, that's her. Let's see. 
share the live. We're about to get into it. Hopefully, they can come disconnect and have the Bluetooth. So, I disconnected the Bluetooth on my other device. You feel me? And see, we're going to see what's going on right, right now. What do I have in my nose? Something in my nose? Hold on, girl. Girl, I'm going to get it out, girl. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Shit. I don't smoke nothing. Where's my... I have... To, I have... I have... I have... I have... I have... Shit. There wasn't no Jerry Springer. There wasn't no something else. Yes, there. Got to wear nothing in my nose. <laughs> I don't even know what my nose, but okay, girl. <sighs> oh, but time, girl. The fuck? 5.55. Hello, can you hear us? But time. I'm sorry. My camera look, oh my God, why my camera look like that? It just look like it's like ashy. Yeah, because my phone is kind of broke. I like the blind. I actually like the blind. This is yellow. Wow. This is yellow. <laughs> it looks blind. It looks blind. It's okay. Different. It's yellow. <sighs> Same difference. All right. So first of all, welcome to um my my little channel right here on IG, and I am MC Shaky. And in case y'all didn't know, um. In case y'all didn't know, these are the Wind Twins, Shay and Star. So tell us, <laughs> it's yellow. Okay, it's blind, yellow, what's the difference? So uh, y'all say this is green, but I, I say this is lime. So I mean, hey, tomato, yeah, tomato. It's lime, it's lime. <laughs> All right, so welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But um, I just want to say, first of all, like, it's an honor for y'all for y'all to come over here and officially be interviewed and definitely, Definitely, it's, uh, as y'all know, I'm one of y'all biggest fans. Uh, I do know y'all personally, so this is de definitely a thing. I'm, before we even start, I want to know one thing. Is there anything that I can't ask? Do y'all want me not to ask about or go into? Or is it we just finish just go into it? Because I want to ask some stuff that I know about that maybe the world doesn't know about. Uh, but... Uh, let's let the comments pick. No, you, no they can, you can ask anything. It's not important. You can ask... There it goes. Uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let me, let's talk about, first of all, where y'all from? I'm, these people are sending in. People are sending in. Uh, <laughs> That's what I want the people to send in questions too that they really want to know. Like, no shade. I want everybody. Like this interview is like raw. I'm stuck like that. Man, sorry. This interview is raw, and I'm a, It's just to be honest. I don't want nobody to be like, "Oh, y'all lying." Like I'm tell. I want to tell the truth about everything. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, yes. We can get into it. Like we. I'm here to get into it. That's why when I do an interview with Auntie Shaky, it's real. Right. Like it's real. Like. All right. So y'all from let's let's just start from the beginning. Y'all from DC, right? Y'all no, come from. We're from Maryland, but we really so we're from Maryland, Landover, Maryland, Hill Road, of course, period. But of course, we're from the DMV. So the DMV represents DC, Maryland, Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. Which one of y'all is the oldest? First of all, hey, I love y'all too. I'm the who's, oldest. Who's me? Say who you is. Star. <laughs> I can I, I can tell that Star X the oldest, no shade. Um, but Shay kind of X more docile. All right, so y'all in DC, and y'all stay y'all grew up born and bred in DC. When did y'all oh, know? Maryland. Maryland. Maryland D okay, I'm so sorry. DMV. Potato, potato. Uh, y'all do give a little bit more. Y'all like the TU and Avenue and all that stuff like that. Uh, thank you so much. Um, so so y'all identify as trans women, correct? Correct. So women, we identify as women. So you, you got don't... trans off of it. I feel like having a trans on, it's just like, you know, having sense. Like, if we take the trans off, we still women. So I feel like, you know, if they just take the trans term off the beginning, we are still women. When I go out, I'm identified, I'm looked at by men as a woman, not as a trans woman. They look at me 
as a woman. That's a, so. Let me say. Let me say something really quick. It was so funny because my friend was over last night, and I was like, "Oh, you never did with a trans woman before. What am I?" He said, "I know you are trans," and I was like, "What am I? What do I got?" He said, "You a woman. Stop keep saying it. Like, stop keep saying the trans part." So. So y'all identify as women, okay? Um, but do y'all acknowledge that biologically you were born? Born. Um, if I talk to a guy, I say I'm a, you know, I'm a trans woman. So a lot of guys, of course, know what trans woman is. So, but of course, I was born a male, but now I'm a female. How old were y'all when y'all knew that y'all were different when it comes to your to your uh, personal identity? They say start we see half of you. Come back in and cut the screen to the middle. You don't want to be right sister with y'all, man? No, we not. <laughs> I'm, I'm covering up because I don't got time. Yeah, you know my no my top, you know my top tops. But um This I, ain't this ain't this ain't Beagle, this ain't none of that. This is we but no, I I know. Know. I'm here. I'm here. I can see the comments from one side. I love everybody in the comments. Comments know that star is like so chill. I ain't you know. I'm here. But I, I eventually get it closer when I start running my when I start running my mouth. But so we so it's I don't that's the thing when people always ask us that when did we know that we were like transitioning to girls or that we was gay just like just gay. Oh, like, when did y'all know when y'all were different? How long was it when y'all were? When did y'all know y'all were different? I was like, but I don't know. That's the thing, like, because I just know men star. We just and I don't know how the fuck we did it, but I know we used to like wear wigs. We used to wear like wigs and stuff. Like, over, like, just put, not wigs, we used to put, like, the shirts and act like it was wigs, and we used to be in the garage, and, you know, just trying on heels and everything. So, I didn't Thank really, you, I didn't really, like, I don't know. That's the thing, I don't know. It's so weird, I don't know. Let me ask you this. So, when it comes down to the living, when it comes down to just, who transitioned, or who knew first, or was it something that was simultaneous between both of y'all? Well, I feel like it was something that was between both of us. No, I, wait, I wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Damn. Let me finish. Let me finish. Anyways, what I was saying was, while you run your mouth. So anyways, like I was saying was, the queen was we first. both We both knew. If she going to act like that, y'all know me. I can be ready to go. I don't have time to act stupid. I'm not arguing with you. We're going to get this straight here. I'm not arguing with you. Okay, if, so that, if we're going to talk... Um, okay, so no. we're gonna talk about so why we still going on in about okay, the to tell you. Ladies, 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 calm down, calm down. That's okay, okay. First, she, wanna, she wanna be the first one to be like, oh, okay, so go, go, girl. Go. Okay, so anyway, go. it was both of us, but she decided to transition into a woman first. She decided first. So while she ready to jump the gun, let me explain myself first. So the question is for both of us. So I'll be able to answer, then you'll be able to answer also, babe. It ain't just no one question for me. She's so upset right now. So anyways, um, you know, I transitioned first. And then that's when Star had transitioned. And then Star had went back to a boy. She had walked in my dad's house. Um, <laughs> she, had, she had walked into my dad's house with a fucking haircut. And I jumped up and I looked and I was like, holy shit. You can't embarrass me. Like, no, I'm just saying she had like a really skillet haircut. And I'm like, oh my <laughs> God. And I'm like, oh, and I'm the only one who's doing this. But I didn't really care. I was like, more guys for me. Like, they don't got to be asking no weird shit like threesomes. Y'all do threesomes mm -hmm. and weird shit like that. So I didn't care if that's what she wanted to do. Oh, she had then, her fun now while she talked. How about. old were y'all during this time? What did this time that you began transitioning? When I was in high school. Okay. I, I got a high school picture of me. Hold on. I'm not showing no high school picture of me. I would love to see. I would, we would love to see that high school. This is exclusive. Okay. A high school picture of Shay of the Wind Twins. Y'all make sure y'all follow them Wind, at Wind Twins Official. Uh, and we're going to talk about a lot of, look, it's a lot of stuff. Sit back, relax, get y'all something to drink. I wish I had me some alcohol right now, too. I don't. <laughs> but. Um, I got some naked juice. <clears throat> hold on. This, on, this on. interview is going to get so spicy and so crazy did like this interview is like oh my god yeah I'm picture. It just I, don't started. Think, I don't think i can't find i can't find a picture i really can't i thought it was in my got the picture i gotta go look somewhere else but i i thought i had a picture it was me in high school i looked at a hot fucking mess just okay so me. so you, you I, keep looking for it while we move right along onto that all right so in between the time of your beginning transitioning until 
because be clear, there's a there's another one of y'all in a sense. Tell us about that because y'all not really twins. Y'all are actually triplets. So yeah. our um okay, so we are triplets. Our third, our sister Nay, who was who was actually a biological woman, she came out first. We all one minute apart. She came out first. I came out second one minute. Then Shay came out third. So it's actually three of us. Nay is more so calm, cool, chill in the back. You know, she got two beautiful daughters, which is my nieces. So, you know, she's actually, you know, a mom and stuff like that. And she, like, we respect her. She respects us. We talk a lot. Me and Shay, to be honest, are 100%. Growing up, my mom had six kids. So the oldest two was close. Me and Shay was close. And then my triplet sister and my little brother was close. But, you know, our triplet sister, we know we triplets and stuff like that and blah, blah, blah. So there's actually, you know, one more, like Kine. But a lot, nobody, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that we triplets. Kine, like when we go out, they just ask, are y'all twins? Because, of course, we look alike. They don't look like us. Right. So they be like, I post her on my Insta story. I don't know if y'all seen her, but I post her on my Insta story. I can get a picture. I get a did, picture. Somebody did she a look, did, did she, is she who y'all emulated when y'all were? When y'all were transitioning, is she somebody that y'all kind of looked into to to be? Uh, I was we like, used to take her clothes. I used to take her clothes. Her girl, her girl <laughs> used to be her so drawer, old, she used to be so she mad. used to be so mad. Well, how you take her panties? How you take her skirts? And she's like, that's why I ain't got shit now. This is Nay. So that's my that's my my camera is really blurry, y'all, because the camera is broke. The camera okay, so, and it's on. Is it on the Wind Twins official Insta story right now? No, no but I'll post, post, post it real quick. So I'll post, post it on the Insta story if y'all want to go see it. Check it out. Um, so we finna post on Insta story right now. Uh, y'all can follow her. She might follow y'all back. I don't. Mm -hmm. I doubt it because Kine so she private. Might. She's so private. Like she, it was. She just came through a tough time in her life, which is I don't know. If, I don't know if she could. Talk, I don't know if I could talk about it, but I don't know. But j just know I'm sad because her baby dad died. So he died like last year. So I'm so sad. So it's like the babies ain't gonna grow up without a dad, really. So it's so sad. So that's why I'm always there. For her, of course, if she need anything, she knows she got yeah. my number. Reach out. She need their hair done. Anything done, I, I'm here for her. Like, it's not one thing she can't ask me for, and I won't give it to her. I will give her my fucking last dollar because she's so sweet. She's so quiet. You're kidding. Yeah. So nice. She's a quiet and a nice right. one. It's not like a round. Well, I, I have no doubt. Tell her um, Sip Nation's thoughts and prayers are definitely going out to her. But we understand. And, and that just takes way into the, the family life because y'all are tight-knit family. I know, um, I know, I know of your mother uh, as well. Tell us about how that was when it was coming out to when it was coming into trying something to her. How did she feel, and maybe how your um, how your father felt about that? So she gonna do the mother. I'm gonna do the father. So it's okay. weird. My mom, of course, you know, you know how parents is. You know, my mom, she was she go to church all the time. So y'all not finna walk around here with wigs on in my motherfucking house. Uh uh, y'all ain't doing. That's some demonic spirit. That's demonic. Uh-uh, y'all go take that to my, oh, uh-uh, I'm about to go get holy water. And all this, she was saying all this weird shit. And I'm like, girl, oh my God, mom, bye. So, me and Star used to sleep downstairs. So, it's hey, like, so downstairs was like the gay territory. It was me, Star, and then my older brother, my older brother is gay. So, it's like, we slept downstairs. My older brother had his own room. We had our own room. So, that was like the gay territory. So, my mom ain't never come down there. Not, oh no, like, she just ain't, she, that's our private business. So, she ain't never come down there. So um, my mom just said, hey, by the way, Auntie Shaky. I know. So, I know. <laughs> so, um, so she was just doing that. And so one day we had went over my older sister house. And she was like, um, we had went to go get our head done. We had got um, a glue in. This one glue in was famous back then. We had got us the glue in. The shit was itching so bad. Oh, my God. And that was our first piece of uh, glue in. We walked in the room. My mom was on the phone, I believe, with my god mom, my god mom, Lala. And she knocked on the door, and we knocked on the door, and she was like, come in. And then this was like some bad girl type shit. Me mm -hmm. and I was on one side, I was on the other side, and I pushed open her door, and I'm like, Star, you ready? Because she run up at us, girl. I don't know, we'll be girl. We're going to have to run or something, girl. Star, you go your way, so I won't trip you. I'm going to go my way. So we pushed open the door. My mom was like, and she was on the phone, I think, with my grandma. She was like, these motherfuckers got trucks in their motherfucking head. And you look <laughs> Oh, and I was like, oh, my God. I, excuse me, girl. Well, as far as the dad, the dad is quick and easy. He said he already been new. He just didn't want to, like, tell us or say it to us. He wanted it to be comfortable. But and our dad always been there 
from just like our mom always been there from day. Well, with our mom, we had ups and downs and stuff like that. But without, yeah. without my mom and dad, they always been there. And I, I love my dad today. I can call him now. He would joke, play, laugh. She, he don't call us nothing he, else. He don't call us he. He always say he she, right. she, 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 she. He call us, he call us Shay and Star. Yeah. Shay and Star. Okay. And you said your older brother is gay. How's y'all relationship with him? I've never even heard you mention that. And I've been on y'all over two years now. What's how, they want it like so. They want it like, so like light skin like, bougie. They want it so like he like, buzz light looking bitch. Um, they want it so like bougie classy. That's our brother. We can not to come him. not to come from my brother, but we can call him anytime. I love Devon. He that's like all oh, he like overprotective over the, over us, of course. Um, he he's very professional. He actually have a great 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 job. Um. Like very, he's just very classy. Yeah, he's very, very like really just so you know what I'm saying. He, but we we talk to him. We talk to our sister and I, our sister and Diana. It's weird because people think that we returned gay because he used to be a trans, and okay. then he went back to a boy. He went right back to a boy. Girl, that's your favorite line: going back, going back, going back. Y'all switching like pancakes. Y'all going to be girls, and y'all know it ain't working out. So y'all go back to be boys. Oh, it's working out perfect for me. So that's y'all business. It's working. <laughs> I love it. Working. So yeah, so so uh, of course this was it, th you in growing up in Orlando, Maryland. This is, has to be some big stuff like that. How did the outside take it? Like the people y'all around, y'all friends, y'all homeboys, or anything? Um. Well, we have we have one, and maybe still to today, you know, one judgmental cousin who's it's crazy because he's judgmental, but he also overprotective about us. So which is so like which is so weird. Like my cousin Teak, like. He's so, like, he used to be so judgmental, but overprotective at the same time. Now, he's not judgmental. He's, I guess he's just still getting, you know, comfortable or whatever with it or whatever. But he's still overprotective about us. As far as, like, my uncle, my uncle Egg, my uncle Lou, um, my uncles and them, like, I mean, they was cool with it. Like, they always still called us. Like, our name used to be Butt, which is weird. But, you know, they always... You know, our uncles always been there for us and stuff like that. Yeah. They never, I don't, I don't know, they, they never disrespected us. As far as the outside, when you transition and you have no time and no space to worry about what the outside got to say about you. Because in this transition, you have to make sure this is something you really want to do. So you getting feedback from other people would just put you in a dark space and stuff like that and make you question if you want to do the transition or not. So that I didn't really care about the outside. I just kept praying and it was just me and God in this together. And God helped me overcome a lot of things. Yeah, it's it's like what me far as my judgment of the family, my like my family period, a lot of them didn't support our decision. Everybody wanted to be so nosy up in our business. Yeah. A lot of people thought we was gonna be like dropouts, we wasn't gonna finish high school. Like a lot of people in my family just thought that the only people that were still stuck beside us, of course. Was like our mom. Was our mom, our dad, you know, and like our older brothers, my sisters, my cousin Sierra, and you know, uh, like a uh, like a uh, like a lot of other people, uh, you know, that was still stuck by my. T Once again, my teeth. He was more so of the kind of like the judgmental one that made me feel very uncomfortable. It was like I didn't want to be around him. I never wanted to be around him. I told my sisters and my brothers, I don't, I can't be around him. Because there's that one point where it's so like we was going to fight whether he whooped my ass because I'm young or not. Because right. I just couldn't be around him. Then right. it got to a certain spot, I guess, where it's so it got to a certain point where it's so like he's like he still judged like a little bit, but he don't judge as much. He just so like overprotective and don't let nobody play with us. Like he really love us and I really love my teeth too. Right. Like regardless of what. Now my, now the outside, I didn't never worry about what the outside had to say. Like it could be the winter time and I still go outside with booty shorts on so I don't give a damn, you know, what the outside got to say about me. Because, you know, at the end of the day, I'm me. I'm living for me. We only get one fucking life to live. Right. Okay. So you graduated high school. Y'all been doing, y'all kind of been doing that thing. Went out and ventured on your own. What made y'all decide that this, as far as being in the media, mm -hmm. what, what was that decision? Who made that decision? And what was it that made it, that led y'all to that? I feel like it was both of us because we knew we had like a big gift from God, like just being trans, you know, women and then twins at that, you know, we didn't see, you know, 
anybody else doing it. You know, we didn't see no other. So we was just like, bitch, we, that's unique. Like, both of us is trans, and we twins, and we look alike, and we both look fucking good. Yeah. Like, we need to just take up, do something. Then we was always funny. Like, our personality, like, how we act on live is how we act off live. So we, like, so funny. It's not nothing that we just, like, oh, let's get on live and act stupid, then we get off live. No. Like, everything is so natural, and, like, we're so funny, and we have, like, and great gifts. let me say one more other thing. You know, another thing is just so, like, it's just, like, being transgender twins. It's no really trans. It's no transgender twins in the world, male to male to female. So looking at me and Star, and then we look just like women. It's not like one of us look like a man, or we both look like men. We ugly as fuck. It's like both of us look like we get booked for straight fucking clubs. So one, it's not like one of us look like that. So that's just so unique. You don't even see it. Like you don't see it in the world. It's like unbelievable. But we really did it because I feel like that's the path that God was. You know, that's what we was walking in. Like, I didn't see this light coming. We started out when three people was watching us on live. We used to be on live with three people watching us. Then we yeah. started seeing it increase to 10. And I used to be so depressed, like, why is it not moving? Like, what's going on? What more do, like, what do I got to do? Like, really, like, I used to be really depressed. And then it started going up to 20, then 50, then 100, to 200, to 300. And I was like, oh, my God. It's like, oh, my God. Like, what the fuck? Da -da -da -da. Okay. And so then y'all went on television. Oh, yes, the Robert Irvine show. Okay. <laughs> well, tell us about that and who uh, and what that was like. Oh, the, well, with the, okay, so with the Robert Irvine show, oh, my God, the Robert Irvine show was so... That was in 2018, correct? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was so crazy because... Robert Irvine show. But once they started transitioning to girls, it was like everything was complicated. Wait, before y'all do, I want to show you a little piece of this. Who's better than who here? She thinks she's better than me when she was not. She's more than Ladies, ladies. You can't say ladies. This is a gentleman. This is a gentleman. Look at my job. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. Now, baby, that's nasty. How did you get more than that? That's why you think, bitch. Okay. I'm the so, you know, <laughs> the Robert Irvine show. If y'all get a chance to check it out, because it's very funny, actually. Uh, they actually, uh, <laughs> what, what, what was that like? Who was I? What did y'all go for? So, it, <laughs> so okay. So we really went for it. It's so weird because we really went for sucking our thumbs. Like we can't stop sucking my thumb. So we thought I was going in for that. So then they was like, okay, what's something else? I'm like, okay, me and Star, we really gonna get along. And they like, okay. So they like, okay, well, we could just fly out here for that. You know, you and your sister not getting along, you know. And then they, when they heard Trans and the Twins, they really like, uh-uh, we got to fly y'all motherfuckers out here. So they flew us out like three days later. They flew us out. We did the show. And it was just, it was just so at first scary because when you walk out, you got like a live audience. Mm -hmm. So you like all these people just watching you up front. And then as you see the dance contest, of course, it's just like, I can't fucking dance. I can't vogue. I don't know how to vogue. I don't know how to just do none of that. So I'm up here looking like I'm swimming like a fucking fish. It's like I'm swimming like a fish. So it was really fun, though. It was a new experience. That was my first time ever being on camera in front of, like, in front of cameras on TV. So right after that, we, like, as soon as we left, we flew back home that day. We stayed for a day in L.A. We flew back home. We literally got a call two days later. No, I'm sorry. Once the show aired, like a week before the show aired, they literally called and said, we want y'all back. And as soon as we got there, the next day when we was filming, our show had dropped. And we did another scene. Then they had called us back and was like, the, um, the show hit up to over a million views. We need y'all back. We got two twins here. Y'all come down here. It was for a twin. That one was for like was a, a twin, twin show. Yeah, and then my mom, oh, she going to say something. Oh, I'm no, going no. to... I'm going to y'all parent and teacher conference. So that messed up a fucking opportunity for us to be on the show again. We was already on there two times. And then this would have been the third time. Like they called us like, no, we need y'all back again. Da, 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 da. I'm like, damn, we just filmed. 
that air did good. Then we just filmed again. Now that's been the air. Now they want us back again. And my mom will say some teacher parent conference, knowing that we don't go to shit like that. <laughs> I was so mad. And she didn't even go. I was so mad. Like I was so mad. Okay. So so how did your life change though? Did your life change after the show or what? I mean, a lot of people just knew who I was. Um, a we, lot of people just knew who we was. We didn't, it's so crazy because we didn't even have like a, a Instagram together at that time. She had her own, I had my own. So it's like we ain't just create Instagram to like two and a half years ago together. Okay. And that show was like what 2017. We had Instagram for like what two and a half years, three years, like yeah, two and a half years now, two years, going on two years. So, all right. So so after the Robert Irvin, Irvin show, y'all made a thing together. Y'all started doing social media, uh, social lighting and influence and Instagram clubs. Then y'all made a decision to move to Atlanta. What was that about? Why on earth would y'all do that? But y'all decided to move to Atlanta. Well, if we, if we all want to be honest, you know, at, Atlanta have a lot of great opportunities, especially for the LGBTQ community. You know, back home, we have a community and I don't think that community is big, how Atlanta is big. You know, back home, you know, they don't really support one another, you know, versus you coming to Atlanta, you meet so many dope people. Like us coming to Atlanta, oh my God, we met so many great friends. So many, we met our uh, mother Ariel, who was so supportive mm. and just dope. She took us out. We met a lot of people that Yarn. she know. Yarn. Yarn. Like we, we met so many dope people. And it was just like, Erica. And me and Shay All even managers. said, me and Shay mm -hmm. even said back home, I mean, while we was down here, if we would never move to Atlanta, bitch, we wouldn't have met none of these people. We wouldn't. I like, probably wouldn't even how you, you met Auntie Shay. How do you even imagine like meeting all these dope ass people? So coming to Atlanta was definitely a great move and a smart move for like business wise, um, social life wise. Cause like people in Atlanta, they will support you. But people back home where you live at, they're not gonna support you. And you know another crazy thing why um everything happened for a reason. When we was back home, I'm gonna just set it straight. We never we only went to a gay club twice. No. Four 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 to five times, five times at the most out of our whole life when we when we was back home. We only used to go on go to straight clubs on U Street. We used to only go to straight clubs on U Street and we used to um and that was it. We never went to really like gay clubs. We used to always go to straight clubs. So coming to Atlanta, it opened our eyes to go to gay clubs and you know, really like meet people. And when I met people, I was like, oh she she pretty, oh he cute. Oh and it opened my eyes to like different things and different it was just like a whole new scene. So yeah, everybody seen us like, oh my god, y'all twins. Then we like, yeah, and the, and then my gay mama, Ariel, here she go. Yeah, then my daughters, they transgender. They're my daughters. I'm like, girl, but they're like, oh my god. Okay. And so that's some of the great people you met, but you also kind of met some more people. You met Shamar, Tommy, Ty, some of Atlanta's favorites, and they became your friends. Tell us about them. Well, so I, oh my god, like we getting into it. So I was gonna start, girl. I had to take a step. <laughs> so with, I feel like if, if we okay, we've been honestly been bro. I feel like you know me and Shay have great hearts, so we let people you know sleep on our couch, come over, you know do do whatever the do whatever they would like, you know in our house, like all the loud noise, the fighting, the plan fighting. We was getting complaints from our rental office. Um, and, you know, we let them do, you know, whatever they want. But in the end, I feel like we got nothing but, you know, non-loyal and wasn't genuine friendships with some. I feel like if you are friends and you network with you, when you network with each other, like we do a video, we tag each other or something like that. You did not make me and I did not make you. What we did was network, because that's what friends do. Y'all see a lot of friends, you know, network with each other. You know, I'm from a new city or whatever, woo woo. You letting the people know what's up with me. Um, my people where I'm from don't know you. So me tagging you is letting them know what's up, woo woo. But I feel like the friendship was, you know, to me and Shay, we was really genuine. They always felt like that we thought that we was better than them because we had, in their eyes, more money and this and the third. I don't think I have more money than anybody. I just have God and I know I'm wealthy and I'm good and I always right. pray. You know what I'm saying? 
and it was just a lot of bad energy around them. Like some things they did, like begging on live. That's that's so fine with what y'all do, but however, by me and Shay being in it, it kind of made us look bad because it's like if you around these friends and stuff like that, why are your friends begging? It's like we not helping them get money. Anything that the twins did, as far as big or whatever, we always came out on top of like the three milli quarters. They will be stuck at four hundred k quarters or milli quarters, and we would tell them the ropes on how to get money, and they would get mad at us to have side conversations. Oh, the twins think they better. The twins, and no, it's not like that. And then you let me say something. Like, <clears throat> also, what I want to say is, it's just like I did, We never thought we was better than no one. We help people. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just be, I'm gonna just be a real bitch. Tommy, he, all, Tommy always had his own money. I mean, he might have got on live, big, you know, do whatever. He, he always had his money. We never had to come out of pocket and help Tommy out with anything, unless we offered to do it. And I'm just being, a, I'm just going to be a real bitch. Shamar always, I, they helped him with his little promos or whatever like that. And that's how he got it. Now, Tashawn Bassett, that's the one who we always had to help because he never had money. But they always, feel like, they always feel like, oh, this, oh, the, the twins got this. I, me and Star, we always help Tashawn Bassett get money. We always help him pay for anything. We, we, if he couldn't pay his full <laughs> part, okay, friend, how much money you got? Because I know he ain't got no commas in his account or like $2,000. So just tell me that you got $70 in your fucking account. And I wouldn't mind sponsoring the rest of the money. And it's not just, I'm going to tell you actually, because I have paid for stuff for him before. Keep your $75 you got in your account. Let me pay for it because I'm okay right now. I'm good. Let me pay for it so that could be at least some of your spending money. So, and you, so you're saying that of, of, the, of your friendship with Tommy, Shamar, and Ty, that it was one-sided, but you're stating that Tommy had his money, Shamar had his money, and Ty was the one who didn't have his money. So what is the status of your... So I, Okay, got it. So what is the status of your friendship with Shamar right now? Sh our friendship with Shamar, we don't talk. It's no issue. It's no pro Shamar apologized because, you know, we had a whole falling out about something wholly, totally different than that. But that was kind of what it was about. People was just jealous of the twins and stuff like that because we had our own and people didn't have their own. And some people still ain't got their own. But our status with Shamar... Who don't still... Wait, wait, stop. Who don't still have their own? Is it some Tashawn people... Tashawn still sleeping in his mama basement. Oh. But, um... But that's, I'm not about to keep talking about him because he irrelevant. He clout chaser. He a clout chaser. Um, t as of today, my problem, I don't have a problem with Shamar. We don't have a problem with Shamar. Shamar don't have a problem with us. He already apologized to us. That was it. Same for Tommy. Tommy already apologized to us. We already did it all. Issue, I just talked to Tommy yesterday. Me and Tommy were just on the phone yesterday. I talked to Tommy yesterday. Will we ever see Kyle one, with y'all again? Wait, one second. Far as for me, I don't talk to nobody. There's Nobody can say they have an issue with Star because once I'm done with you, I don't even know who you is anymore. I, once again, I don't, we, I know of you, but there's no issue and you should not have an issue with me because we don't talk anymore. But I don't talk to none of, none of them. There's no, with Tommy, I feel like, to be real, Tommy was on the flip-flop side. He was. Tommy was like, uh -uh, girl, like I'm a saying something you did not say. Tommy was on a flip. Tommy was, on a flip a Tommy was on a flip flop side. It was too much. Whatever the twins say, Tommy be like, yeah, girl. Da, da. Then when he go back to them, it's like, da, 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 da. it was too much flip flop. So, however, with Star, once they showed me who they was when they got on live, one of their dick suckers talking about us and stuff like that. Once you get one time to play me or show me, and that's it. I love God. I don't play with God. I pray for you. Have a nice day. I hope you do good with whatever you got going on. I, if you want beef, if you got beef with me, that's fine, baby. But I don't know you. So why would we have beef? We're not friends or anything. Okay, let me say one thing. About what Star just said about the flip flop. that is true. And I told Tommy, that, I told me already now, I told him, bitch, you know, you, you, you flip flop. You like a pancake. I always told Tommy, he could come up here and say, yeah, bitch, you told me you flip flop like a pancake. You do. Like one minute, it could be about the twins. Like we telling him something. Next minute, he calling our phone, talking about Ty, Ty saying, oh, yeah, Ty this, oh, girl this, oh, that. Like about Miami, one situation before we move on, one situation for our birthday, we were supposed to go to D.C., they wanted to go to Miami. I'm like, okay, it's my birthday, let's go to Miami. They said, okay, they're going to get them a condo or whatever on a, in a high rise. I said, oh, okay, they didn't include the twins. The twins went to go get a four-bedroom 
big ass pool in the back. Everybody was at the twins' house. That's us like trying to compete. And it, I'm like, it's no need to compete. We are fucking friends. I told my I told my old friends that we should do something to all get a show together. Bitch, we all pop in. Everybody watch us. They watch all this shit. We doing this shit for free. Well, let's get paid for doing this and all that. So, like I said, how I stand, I don't talk to, I really don't talk to Shamar, but it's no problem with Shamar. Ty, we will never, ever, ever be friends. And me and Tommy, we just cordial and cool. We check, He check up on me. I check up on him. And he give me a call. Don't get me wrong. Nothing that's wrong with that, being cordial. Because like I said, do I love Ty, Tommy, and Shamar to this day? My heart will always say yeah, that I, I was real. Them. I love them from the bottom. If something was to happen today or tomorrow, I would be like far as I would be hurt. I would be damn sure hurt because I I cannot say, oh no, girl, ill, no, I do not. Because I I was real. My friendship was hundred percent real in it. So I I love, I still do have love for them. Am I hurt that the friendship went the way it was? Yes, I was hurt. I was hurt because was just too much. we was really like me and Shay was really, really genuine, but they always thought in their mind the twins not genuine or they just think they better because they listen to the comments. Comments they be like, twins, y'all should not hang out with them. They dress like this or they broke. Y'all should. We never listen to the comments and said, oh, friends, we not we can't hang out with y'all because that's what the comments want. No, no, I did not. I, me, I never said that. Let me tell you one thing. Ty came to my birthday. Uh, let me see. Pop. Let me see how I go. Let me see. Um, Ty had came to my birthday. I'm trying to see if I can pull it up. I, I still have the video because um, it's something I was okay, going to save. It. I got the okay, video. Okay, so I got it too. Let I me, got it. Let me um, okay, and I get that. But, uh, and I, we don't, we, I mean, it's, it's your interview, and so what you say is what you say. Uh, we're gonna ask about Ace and Xanax in a minute, but let me go into something. So, y'all, like, it's just kind of be chronological. So, y'all come to Atlanta, y'all meet y'all friends at the time, y'all start doing stuff. Um, then y'all, what happens after that? Then, what do, let me ask you this what do y'all think about some of the trans women in the community in Atlanta? How did they treat y'all? Um, Let's start with something. Uh, Sydney Star. How, how did Sydney start? How did y'all? How did Sydney start? How did that work? Uh, I um, I mean, it was. I mean, when we was in the house and everything, it was just. This how Ty came to my birthday. Ty came to my birthday with that nappy ass wig going and dressed in a straight club. Looked at a hot goddamn mess. I did not judge him at all for what the fuck he wore, but the comments to the comments is this. I told him change his outfit. He said that's all he had. I knew he couldn't fit none of my stuff, not being messy. My hairstylist was here. He ain't had no money to pay my hairstylist. I told my hairstylist I could, I could pay. It was time for he us to ran off on thing. our hairstylist. He ran off on our hairstylist. He ran off, and he still owed Jay money. What can I do? Jay said she don't want to touch his head. It's nothing I could do. I'm like, I could pay you. He like, no. She like, no, you're not paying for him. It's too late anyway because we got to walk out the door because we got to go to the club. At this point, it's like 1.30, club over at 3 o'clock. It's my birthday. Then they're not paying him. This time he came to the fucking club. That's <clears throat> but anyways, um, so off that subject, back to the trans in Atlanta. Um, they, to be honest, some trans, they like us. To be honest, a lot of trans like us, and it it just amazes me because when we go out, sometimes we go to the gay club. Some, tra not a lot of them, not a lot of them, out of hundred percent, maybe like six percent. That's not really a lot. Some of them do come up to us and be like, "Oh my God, I live for y'all. I love y'all. Follow y'all on IG." Like some pretty ones at that too. The rest of them, I don't really. You know, really, I don't really talk. Like, I don't, I, they don't come, I don't, I well, just. Don't. Particularly, what about some of the, the more famous ones, like Sydney Starr? What's your relationship with her? Uh, we don't, we, me, we don't talk. Like, I got her number. When my page was gone, I hit her up and was like, do you know people? She's like, okay, she'll look. But we, I don't hit her up. Like, we don't, be like, hey, girl, hey, this. I'm, yeah. Or I might, one time, like, every once in the blue moon, be like, hey, sis. She'd be like, hey, you know. Yeah, you know, just, I, you know, I feel like with me, I just feel like like checking up. Nothing wrong with checking up to know like, bitch, hey girl, you still alive? You know what's up? Woo -woo. If if a project or something was to ever come down with us involved, we worked with Sydney Star before, uh, obviously in the house. It was genuine. You know, we talked to her and um, other people um, in the house, and it was genuine. Ever since then, it was it never been nothing messy, nothing ill that came out our mouth, regardless of whatever. Cause it's like. We just keep our distance, and you know, we it, it is it's nothing bad. It's nothing bad. I have nothing bad to say about Sydney. We love Sydney. Shay, uh, did, did you are you aware that Sydney may have had a sexual encounter with your ex? Um, I mean, it's just it's just crazy because 
even though like she know I check up on her, we check up on each other every once in a while. Like I check on her every <laughs> once in a while. And it's just like, girl, you know that was my ex girl. Like, why would you do it? Cause I would not do it to no nobody for one that she has sex with. That's not me. Well, cause I know like if I check up on her, she reach out, hey sis, this and third. Like she done came to my section and party in my section and everything. And it's like, so why, like, why would you, like, I'm not mad because he's crazy. He's delusional anyway. And he kept trying to say, oh, it didn't happen. But we are, I know what happened. Like, I, I know Kim Greedy is a liar. But. <laughs> okay, we'll, I, we'll, get, we'll get into that. I just want to know if you knew that. Um, What about, let's say, uh, Charity Boom? Are y'all good with it? I mean. Oh, Kim, that's my I mean, auntie. Yeah, we oh. Charity, uh, see, that's the thing. Uh, despite what, once again, this how, this how you know that the twins are real. Because despite, excuse me, y'all, what people say about people, and I'm not, and it's irrelevant for me to even speak of what people say about a lot of people. Despite what people say about people, we like to fill them out for our own selves. We like to fill them out for a, a Cherry, you know, our um, mother ear you and stuff like that. And, you know, when we met Cherry, Cherry actually a cancer like us. So actually when we met Cherry, it was nothing but genuine and stuff like that. And I look at her, cause she a little bit older than us, so I look at Cherry as an auntie. We look at Cherry as an auntie. Nothing ill ever came to my mouth about Cherry, despite what people ever say to us, like, oh, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Like, people like, oh, y'all been told she got a nasty ex. So I'm like, she never been nasty to me and sorry. Like, she always been sweet and kind as we've been sweet and kind. But you gotta understand we cancer. Her. So people say, I have a nasty attitude all the time. Oh, sorry, you just so sassy. And that's fine. But at the end of the day, you don't let everybody inside your space. You don't, you, don't let, you don't let everybody inside your space. Right, and like, but, like, so like, yes, okay. What about low, low Savannah? Any of those? Yeah. They're not really Atlanta girls, but you know. Yeah, yeah these like bigger girls. Savannah, we call her auntie too. Low, we was calling her auntie at one point, then we fell off, and now we just like we don't talk, but we don't talk to we only talk to these people when we get on bigger and we have a conversation. So, yeah. what conversations now? You have to start asking everybody. Hey, one, one by one, nothing what Shay said is wrong, but one by one. What's up? I, What's up, B? Um, Throw us a well, drink on here. That's what you buy a badge on here. It's 99 cents. You ain't broke. What's it's the thing? Like, it's by your badge. That's so a badge. Her, um, <laughs> and then, especially with the other one, too, you know, I, we just, I mean, it's, it, I don't, you know, I haven't met these people in, oh, we did meet one of them, the second one in person. But, I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, you know, I call Cherry Auntie, and that's where it stands. And, you know, I can see the genuine alloy. And I do like that she don't let everybody in and she don't have all these type of uh, nieces and stuff running around the world and stuff like that. And then fake as fuck behind the back. Like a lot of people, they have all these people as sister, nieces, brother, da da da. And all these hoes be talking about you. Like, bitch, move on. I don't even want to be in that circle. So, okay, let's let's get into let's get into Beagle real quick because we do have Brandon Keys in here. Um, He's both of our slave master, I mean, agent. Uh huh. How did y'all get to what? How did what? What brought y'all to Beagle? And um, Tommy and them, Tommy and them, they kept saying, Get on Beagle, get on Beagle. We was like, No, we ain't getting on that messy platform. They'd be like, Bitch, you can make money. They're like, Get on, get on. I'm like, No, we ain't. Then one time, Tom was like, Uh uh, I'm about to set y'all up a host audition. I don't care what y'all got to say. And I'm like, Okay, host audition came, they came, they all show love to us and stuff like that. And that was it. Then when we started hitting the $24,000 a month. It's been, it was an issue because it was a big old issue. I feel like y'all don't support me. I'm like, we do come support y'all. We come we come throw y'all stuff all the time, and sometimes just throw it off GP and not even ask for another and nothing and not even ask for nothing back. We just throw it on y'all. It was an issue with that. I was like, oh child, I can't deal with all these issues. So you get y'all get to y'all get to be and y'all start making a wave. A lot of people, you know, y'all were attacked. But y'all also had a lot of love. A lot of people loved y'all. Y'all, like you said, y'all were making twenty four thousand dollars a month on Beagle. Also, if anybody wants to try to make twenty four thousand dollars a month on Beagle, hit holla at me. I have an agency, simulation agency. Ding. Uh, <laughs> so listen, let me ask you this: You introduced us to some people on Beagle that's very that's still on there today, and I'm going to get into why y'all left later. But we want to talk. We have to talk about this. And we have to get into this. K nine. And greedy. I made greedy, child. I made him. Anybody know who the fuck he was? I made him. Okay. Uh, 
when, when did it come down? So you can talk about Kate. So what you would so okay. To ask a question, but you gotta ask us because you gotta ask me about nine, and then you gotta ask her about greedy. I kind of wanted to do it flip flop because of course y'all gonna say the most bad thing, and y'all used to. I know Shay used to no. think K and I was okay, and then uh, Star used to like greedy enough as a brother in law. Uh, but let's 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 start with the lesser of two evils since we knew uh, this. We brought greedy into this uh, first. Uh, tell us about Greedy. You said you made him. What happened with that? How did that even transpire? Y'all. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for my supporters that's by the badge. I fuck with y'all. Appreciate y'all. Yes, everybody uh, buy um, Auntie Shaky Badge. Make sure everybody buy Auntie, Auntie Shaky Badge. Everybody buy, buy, buy. I don't know if stop posting. We're going to post a picture of our triplet sister on our Insta story. I promise yeah. you tag her. Right when we get off, I promise we got y'all. I promise, I promise, I promise. So Make sure y'all follow them for more interesting content because they're, they're like, I've been knowing them for a very long time. They're funny as hell. <laughs> they're definitely uh, something to laugh at all the time. But talk, let's talk about Greedy. What happened with that? How did you how did you get introduced to Greedy and what was it like getting into a relationship? Tell us what, about that. Mm, I met Greedy on Bigo. He was, I guess he just got done dating his ex girlfriend or whatever like that. Who was so, his ex girlfriend? Leah. Um, he had Aaliyah, just got, Aaliyah the doll? Yeah, he had just got done dating her. I interviewed her before. Oh, okay. But I never really, I never knew her. I never had a conversation with her. It was Star who DM'd her. I never once DM'd her about anything. So I had just seen him, and everybody was like that. He uh, he act gay, he act gay. And I'm like, I looked at him, and I'm like, okay, so he was at McDonald's one day or something like that. He was in the car. I was like, oh, he's so fine. So I threw like a, uh, bitch, I threw a treasure. A treasure like what? 10, 10 cents? I threw like a little treasure. Then I, I threw 10 cents at his ass. And he was like, thank you, mama. And I'm like, oh, holy shit. Hold on now. I'm getting wet. So I told Star. I told Star. Oh. I, I told Star to um tell K9. Because I knew K9 and they was kind of like, okay. I told K9 to, you know, text him. So they got the number. We were talking about going to Miami. He was like, yeah, he want to come to Miami. So I'm like, shit, you need to start at my house, like, tomorrow. So he was like, um, okay, so next thing I know, I was asleep. I wake up, and I see a text message from my phone, and it said, this greedy. So I got real nervous, and I went back to sleep, because I said, bitch, I love you too, friend. I, I hey, said, Tay, bitch, you. yes, I love Tay. That's my baby. Um, I said, this, this, this not real. I was like, this not real, this not real. So I go to sleep for like five minutes, like three to five minutes, itching, like, girl, I'm having a dream, I'm having a dream. So I wake back up, and it was greedy. I was like, no, when he said greedy, I said, so I ran in the room with K9, and I said, did you get greedy my number? He said, yeah. So we FaceTime, and I'm like, what you finna do? He like, yeah, I'm trying to come out that joint. And I'm like, okay, well, come on. So he like, all right. So he started, of course, jacking his dick on FaceTime, child. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to see this. So I thought he was all about sex. So I really was like skeptical. But so we was on the phone all night, like no, all that day, yeah, all that day, all night. And then he flew in the next morning. So you know, I sent him a little Uber from the airport to my house, child. I got a pee. Watch I sent him an Uber. Okay. I sent him. I sent him an Uber to my house or whatever, child. You know, a little Uber, little what thirty dollar Uber or whatever. So I called my mom. So we in the bed. I called my mom. I'm like, mom, I I really like greedy, and that's something for that. He was, she was like, Greedy ain't gay. Greedy don't like trans. Greedy ain't this. And I was like... You called your mom mom or you called your gay mom? My mom mom, my real mom. I okay. said, look... I back, said, back, I, back, hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. All right. So you... So your your mom was already on Beagle at the time. Um, she knew No, she, she wasn't on there. She was just like supporting me. She was like, yeah. don't get... She wasn't a host yet. All right. And so when you said y'all were talking, if he started the conversation and y'all just had some type of sexual innuendo, what in the world were y'all talking about? No. Okay, so listen. What did, okay, you like so about, what did you like about him? You said you liked it. What you liked about him? Like everything. He was just so hood and so crazy. And I was like, can we date? And he was like, yeah. I was like, so we date? He was like, yeah. So I was like, okay, fly to my house. He flew to my house and boom. So I just liked everything. What like, did he explain what's going on with his situation with Leah? What did you explain in that? They was already broken up. They had been broken up. Is that up, what like, he told you or is that what you knew to be true? That's what everybody was talking about on Beagle, how they... Is that job. what he told you, or was that what you knew to be true? Knew to be true, that they was broken up. Right. Did you? And so did you have a conversation with Leah at any time in this? Yeah, okay. Yes, I'm going to get to that. So once he had came out to the world with me, that we was dating or whatever like that, 
Leah, Leah started, him and Leah, they started getting into it. She, one day she had called the iPad, his iPad, and I took the phone on his hand. And I said, and I answered, and I said, why the fuck are you keep calling my man? And she said, no, I'm just calling to tell him to stop talking. About me. I said, girl, he's not talking about you. Bye. I blocked her. I blocked her. No more or whatever. And so she went on Beagle, and she was throwing like little subliminals. It was like, oh, yeah, the twin, she real, she is, she cute, but she just strong. She like, oh, she like a hawk. So I, so I lied with her, and I said, okay, you alien-looking bitch. Like, what's tea? I ain't say nothing about you. I'm trying to get y'all to stop arguing. Like, I'm not finna sit here and argue with you, Leah. Like, it's nothing to argue about. I don't know you. You don't know me. And I guess she felt like I was trying to take her. I, I took greedy or I was doing some sneaky shit. But I swear to God, it was nothing like that. Like, it was literally nothing like that. So greedy was just like, I'm not going to talk about that fishy bitch and just say it was a lot with my address and it was just like too much wisdom. So I was just like, oh my God. So Star had talked to Leah and they had made some, you know, common grounds and some, you know, good. But with me and Greedy, it was just, it was, we had a lot of great times. He was just fucking psycho. She was like, <laughs> like, it was like a fucking psych ward. Like, I can't, like, I couldn't do, like, my mental and everything. Like, I um, fought on the phone with him and my mom, like, my mom was on the phone. We was fighting our back. Big on her that. Like, it was just too much. He scratched my eye. I made it seem like he didn't scratch me. He snatched my phone while I was on the phone with my brother Black and threw my goddamn phone to the wall and started fighting me. Like, it was just so much words, though. I couldn't be in the talk stuff. I love that, too. So, let me, so okay, uh, but, all right. So, this is an abusive relationship. At what point did it get, at what point did you say, did it get abusive? When did it first start being abusive? How long were y'all in a relationship before I got it? Like a, like a, like a month. It the was first month was everything. The second month he began being abusive. Was the abuse happening in front of your sister? Yeah, like yeah, and my and like uh, my Tommy was there one time. He was trying to fight my friend Phantom. Like he thought I was dating Phantom. He just didn't trust me around guys. He just thought that every guy I be around, I'ma have sex with, and that's not the fucking truth. So when I walked into a like when I had walked into a bar, he couldn't get in. I was trying to go get my mother Ariel to go tell her to let him in. Cause you know, she, of course it's a gay club. My mother area, she a trans. So she, I know she know all the people. So she could come out as I'm going first. I'm showing the ID. He literally whispering this in my ear. He, this is what he says to me in my ear. Literally, you a motherfucking hoe, bitch. You ain't shit. I bitch, you don't listen. I told you, let me go first. You hoe ass bitch, be a hoe. And I walk and I, but I kept walking in and I was laughing. As soon as I walked in, I went by my mother, Ariel, and he bumped me. And my mother like, oh, what's going on? And I'm like, he's mad. And Stalin was there because he was calling me all type of hoes, wasn't he? Okay. All type of so let me ask Stalin, were you witnessing your sister being physically and emotionally abused by greedy? Um, uh, Fars, bitch, it ain't funny. Fars, no, 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 it ain't funny, girl. No, because bitch don't, because bitch, when you was getting knocked upside your head, bitch, I, I kicked open that motherfucking door and I, bitch. And, wait, 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 we'll get so to that. Don't think but don't the question, nah, Shay, give Star a chance to just answer candidly how she wants to. Hold on, laugh. Well, tell that bitch don't laugh. Star, did you witness your sister getting physically or emotionally abused by Greg? Uh, far as I would say, I never seen, like, for us, them fighting, I seen them fighting one time, and, and me and Nan had to come out here, and like me and Keith had to come out here and like break it up and stuff like that. But as far as like the arguments and stuff like that, I seen like him because he used to say to me, "Oh, she just want to be a hoe. She just want to be this." And I was like, "Really? You need to calm down. She's not even talking to nobody. Nah, fuck her. Fuck that bitch." Da -da -da -da. And I was just like, "Yeah, something is wrong with him. I don't know." So I used to tell Keith. They got too much going on. And he always say, they ain't got nothing to do with us. And so. Oh, if you're making excuses, you're being an enabler. I want a yes or no definitive. <laughs> did you witness, just being honest, being, listen, did you witness your sister being, being physically abused by greed? And it needs to be a yes or no, not conditionally. Yes or no. Yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. Why? Okay, and so my question is, then, 
did you want to get her out of that situation or how did you feel seeing your sister being abused? Well, I, to be honest, I feel so sorry for her. Anybody in that situation, uh, you know, getting abused by men. But however, you got to understand that when you jump into a situation and stuff like that, you try to defend them, then they come so defensive when you're going off on that man. Then that's when she want to jump in and want to argue with me or want to argue with K-9. It's like, stay out my business, stay out my business. So then to avoid all that, I just don't get in it. So to avoid all that. So your thing is, what you're saying is that she when you would go to defend her in a physically abusive situation, she would stop you to, de to defend the abuser? Yeah. N not necessarily defend him, but just tell us to stay out their business. Stay out and a lot of people go through that. That's why a lot of people don't be saying nothing. But it's like, to stay out my business, stay out my business. And it's just like, okay, girl, that's fine. And that's why I stopped getting into it. I just shake my head. Oh, I don't listen. I'll be on my phone. I'll be like, child, can I shut Keith, shut the door. Shay, was, is what your sister saying accurate? Would you ask her to remain out of your business when you were being... Of, of course, because that's, they don't have nothing to do with Because I was in love with him. So we was like, we was in love with each other. I knew he was like a guy who was so... He never <clears throat> cheated on me. But like, no. Like, so that was like one of my... Not because I've been in a relationship before on and off for like two years with my ex. <laughs> Somebody said, but... But... Interesting. but but it was like I was just so in love with him because he was so overprotective with me. Like he didn't let nobody touch me. He didn't let nobody do. No he was there for me. So I was like, okay, so I'll stay out my business. Like hey, except I'm him, except him. <laughs> no, nobody could touch you except him. That's not fair to you. <sighs> um, I'm mean, him back, so don't make it seem like I'm just shaky. Don't make it seem like I was just there. I, getting I would never. I would never do that. I would never make it seem like a certain type of way. I apologize if you feel that way. Uh, but, I mean, we're just talking here. Uh, let me ask you this. You wanted out of the situation because of the, because of the domestic abuse or because y'all had... Or what, why did you want out of the situation? Or did you want out of it? So, it's like, I don't... I always did a lot of things to tick him off. Like I, like, I used to just do things on purpose. Like, when he asked me a question, standing on me trying to make it seem like what is more than what it was, I did it. So, at the point, it was just like, I, I just did it so we could do this, and then I want us to get back together. Like, I don't want us to break up. I want us to just fight. Let's just fight, and let's get mad, and just let's just rumble, and then get back together and just be in love. But the last situation, I think, went too far because he really, being so he already been thinking I was cheating on him for two months, when I finally said I fucked somebody else, which, which is I didn't fuck nobody else. Like when he had left my house, when he had got mad, when he went over um that porn star house or whatever, that boy porn star, um, Jay, whatever house. You don't have to mention his Okay, name. I can do whatever I want. It's my, it's my time, not yours. The fuck? Jay Wu house or whatever like that. Girl, you so um, talking about these people. So, um, what I'm about to say? Um, girl, come on, shut up. No, you shut up. So anyway, he was, when he had went over that boy, that porn star house, uh, he had spent the night that night. He was trying to stay on the phone with me. I did invite a boy over, but we I did not have I did not let the boy fuck me. Cause I couldn't, because I was too in love with him. The boy had a big penis now, but I swear to God I did not let that boy have sex with me. How did you know he had a big penis if you were not in the intimate? Because he because he 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 turned he poured it out. Like right when I was letting him walk out the door before I think something was gonna happen. Like I let him come over for like three minutes, like five minutes. He walked in, walked in my room. Greedy kept calling me. I didn't answer. I knew he was going to think I was doing something. He walked out. So, but I didn't have sex with nobody. So, Ben thought he'd been speculating that I was having sex with people. And I finally said, that's why I fucked somebody else. That's when he broke my fucking window. He threw the candle, broke my window, and did all this child and said, fuck you. I knew you was cheating. You a hoe. Just stand a third. I'm going to go get some pussy today. And just stand a third. It was just a mess. And we uh, didn't get back. Let me, let me, I got to state this real quick, okay? N never, listen. There's no context where a man should put his hand on a woman, trans woman, or any kind of other woman you think. There's no context. I don't believe that as a context. I don't believe nothing. If you ticked him off and he cursed you out, okay, cool. But he should never put his hands on you. And let's stop normalizing, saying, okay, it's my fault because I ticked him off. Or it's my fault because I did this. Or it's my fault because I did that. No, it's not your fault. It's never your fault. And it does not give no man the right to put his hands on a woman. We got to stop normalizing that activity. And we also have to stop normalizing girl get out of my business that's just my nigga and all kind of stuff like that we gotta definitely stop
of normalizing that in this community because now as you've seen it's affecting the trans community as well because we see it so much and it's become normal to us so we definitely have to stop that no woman deserves that no woman no trans woman no any type of woman deserves that i don't think that is a thing and i think that you are misguided in that i think that at least for that component of it in future relationship videos i would i don't know if you see or saw any type of counseling since then but you may need that and i'm being real because i feel like that when we come down to it we are all people and we all deserve the right to be if you curse them out he have the right to curse you out if you do this then you have the right to do that but there's no context that a man should put his hands on a woman i don't think there is but 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 just i want to say i'm not it's, saying it's, it's, it's no but there's no, no but this is what, no hear me out i'm not saying that it was okay maybe i like to get hit maybe i wanted him to fight me not but i'm not saying that though i'm just saying I'm not saying that he's say, right for fighting. No, no, no. Let's talk about hold up. Hold up. Don't, 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 give me a, don't give me a maybe. Do you like to be hit? Do you like to no, be No, I do not. That's why I left. There's no maybe. There's no maybe in that. There's nothing. I, that's why I left because I do not like to be hit. I don't mind arguing, but I always say I feel like a man should not put his hands on a woman. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts. Now, if it was just a lot of argument and fighting, I'm not saying that he was right for fighting. It was just like, I couldn't do it. I don't deal with getting punched and scratches on my face. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not. Stay, stay right there. Let's talk about Kenan a little bit. Come on over here, stuff. Come over here. Come on. I'm let's, talk, let's talk about Kenan, who you referred to as Keith, my nephew. What, what, tell us about how you um, were introduced to him. Because you, 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 you met him on Beagle, correct? What was that like? Um, um, to be honest, um, you know, people were just hyping people up because, you know, when there's a new person on live, you know, people was hyping him up. So when I seen him, I was like, oh, shit, he, he is fine. And over here, my son said, I'm going to get him watch. So then um, I told him to follow my, my Instagram. So we ended up following each other on Instagram or whatever. Uh, no, he ended up following me. I accepted it, but I jumped in his DM first. And I, I don't know. I like, I, we just text, you know, normal text. And I was like, oh, I'm coming to, I'm going to be in Miami, so you should fly out to Miami, because he was going to come to Atlanta to see me. And he was like, oh, what's in Atlanta? And I was like, me. And then we started laughing and stuff like that. Long story, making sure he flew to Miami. Um, we, like, we vibed the fuck out. We had to hide from the whole world, because everybody thought, like, he was in Miami at the time. This one, we was, like, real popping on Bigo. We was in Miami at the time, so everybody was trying to put the clues together, like, is the twins and K9 together or, you know, what it is. So we was high and when we go live, K9 had to be one way, I had to be another way. Um, long story, making sure K9 ended up coming to Atlanta, moving in, stuff like that, was in a relationship. Um, wait, 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 wait. So you, you go from Miami, did you leave Miami together or did he go back to, where was he at the time? Uh, he was in Canada, but he left from Canada and came to Miami with two big ass duffel bags because we had already, he was supposed to come to Atlanta. We was talking, what people did not know, see our relationship be so private, that me and K9 was talking almost a month before he actually came to Miami. We were talking a whole month before, but we just kept it. I'm so private and I love being private, that's the best way. So nobody never knew that me and him was talking a whole month before he actually came down. So when he, when he came to Miami, he ended up moving from Miami to my house, to Atlanta. So he left, when y'all left Miami, y'all left together? Yeah. Put your phone on do not disturb. All right, so, <laughs> so y'all left together. What, at what point did y'all make it just known to be going to the world that y'all were it was, it was my, it was in Miami because one night we had got so drunk, all of us was in the Airbnb, and he had, he was on a panel on Biko, I forgot who, who panel, um, and that's when he like made known like, I t they was like, do we got a girlfriend? And he was like, yeah. And they was like, who? And then when he showed me, everybody was so fucking shocked. This so we made it like he came out before we came back to Miami. When you, when you, when, when, when he came out, did the world change for him? And as far as people trying to talk to him and things like that in this, in this lifestyle? No, bitches was still on his dig. Like, hoes are still, people, females still, 
women still wanted to mess with him despite what women would say. See, this is the thing. When you bad, when you a bad chick, all they can say is, Oh my God, I'm so sorry I have a phone call. I need to join Instagram from this phone because nobody got this number. I'm sorry, guys. But um, can you hear me, Auntie Shaky? I can hear you. What's the situation? Okay. So, um, you know, when you bad, all they can say is, oh, she got a dick. You know, or she was born a man. Like, they couldn't say I was ugly because all they can say is, oh, she pretty, she got a dick, or she was born this type of way. So, but it still did not stop women from talking to him because women was always in his DM trying to talk to him and I will shut it down okay so what was your relationship like from inception to to be honest we was really private so people don't know that me and Ken and I, we got into multiple fights fist fights um but we were just so private about it um I, I don't know what do you want to know I mean it started off good then when did you start? When did it start getting? Just, so you were abuse. You were he was abusive towards you as well. Is what you're saying? No, we was abusive towards each other because I used so to hit were. him. No man gonna let no woman just hit him. You know, I used to hit him. Sometimes you get away with it, and he'd just start laughing, and it pissed me off. Like when I'm mad, don't laugh. He'd think it's funny, and then I go in for another punch because now I'm pissed off that you taking me as a joke. Okay, what were y'all getting fights for? What was the reason y'all getting fights? Um. <laughs> To be honest, just about him lying. Like he, I, I found out that he was just, he would, I would catch him in lies. He don't know how to lie. That's one thing. Like he a Leo. So Leos are liars and they are so sneaky. Mm -hmm. And he was a top liar. Like he know to this day, I tell him two days ago, all you do is lie. We was just on Beagle Live together for the first time in a long time. And I told him, you a liar. You need to stop lying. But he used to be a compulsive liar. And then it's not like we was just boyfriend and girlfriend. We was actually engaged. And he was lying about things. I played stupid. I played stupid, but I already knew what it was. But when you in love with somebody and you, and you wanted to work, it's like you would do anything in your power to try to make it work. Yes, he did cheat three times. Yes, Who did I did. He cheat with? Huh? Who did he cheat with? I would never mention these the the people name, but he did cheat with. I, I don't even know was the it people. Was it trans women, real women, gay boys? Yeah, it what? One. It was one trans woman. Me and her, we actually talked when I went back to DC. We was on a fucking phone conversation for like two fuck, like almost two fucking hours, you know. And but uh, it you was said you cheated. Who, who did you cheat with? Uh, I cheated with um, two guys that I was dealing with before. K9. And you know, when you be in a relationship and you tell them, like, oh, I'm in a relationship, you know, they like, oh, boo, boo, whatever, they won't respect you. But when things start going left and I knew he started lying and he started cheating, that's when I start exploring. You having your fun, why can't I have fun too? I'm not mad, so you shouldn't be mad at me. Okay. Um, this, so you were, you said you were engaged. When you were, what, what prompted the engagement? Were where, and what kind of space were y'all in when he, Engaged to when he um asked you to marry me. Well, to be honest, if we've been honest, we wasn't even in a relationship. It was like January fifteenth. We was only in a relationship for one month when he asked me to engage. When he asked to um engage me, when he asked to be in an engagement, because we got engaged on February fourteenth, and then that lasted to about um I don't know. I think I the last time we was in a relationship was like. August, September, like September, like September, like July, August. Yeah, like September. It was after August. Okay. But uh, everything was bad in like July during my birthday time in August. And then September was just like, no, let's go. But y'all are on speaking terms right now. I just said you went over there and talked to him on Beagle. Do you feel like, uh, it's, and your sister feels like she may agree. Do you feel like you had a hand in making K9 who he is? Well, I mean, a lot of people will say that because, you know, people didn't know who he was until he dated me. But, uh, I mean, I don't look at it like that because I wasn't in it or thinking about being in it for making a person. I was in it for a relationship. So I can't say, I don't, I don't want to say who I made. You know, I do know that people, you know, people say they know him because of him being with us. 
which is fine. But I don't look at it like that. I look at it as a relationship. I'm not looking at it as, as a game or who can I give more clout to? Who can I give more not notary to? No, I look at it as a relationship. So I can't say, you know, if I made them, that's for the people in the comments to say, you know, oh, well, I only knew them from, you know, Day and Star and stuff like that. And that's fine because, you know, that might, that's the truth. But I just don't want to say, yes, I did make him because I wasn't in a relationship to look and say, I made a person. As far as making him a better man, yes, I was in a relationship to help him be, become a better man because he did not have, you know, a lot of skills that I somewhat helped him, you know, with. He went on to be with some famous women on the app, and namely, lately, it's been Yetta. What do you think about that relationship? Well, I don't. To be honest, we never, me and, I, I don't worry about no other bitch. That's one. So I, I, don't, <laughs> I, I don't worry about no other bitch. You know, if whoever got the man I deal with, that's fine. I'm not going to pray on your downfall or your relationship. All I can right. say is congratulations. I'm not salty. I'm not mad because I'm a bad bitch and I'm young. I'm <laughs> that was, that's I, like, but at least that, that sounds good. By the that's age of five, I'll be my own house up. That that did sound a little shady though. No shade, but okay. I mean, if you if you want to shave somebody and don't want to shave, it's cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? So when you are in a situation, I, I, this is for you, uh, Shay. You see your sister in a domestically abusing situation. Never seen that. She never seen it. Girl, yes, I did when I kicked down the door, girl. Oh, that was one time. Girl, that was one time, bitch. Girl, I, I, would come back, I would come back from my homeboy. I would come back from one of my friends. Um, we was out all morning, and it's like seven o'clock in the morning. And it started from, I guess, them playing or whatever, doing something on big on big or some shit. And to I'm here, I'm in my room, and all I'm hearing is all this yelling and screaming. I'm like, look, girl, they start fighting. Girl, I'm finna call the police, girl. I'm not dealing with it. I'm ready to get there. I'm finna get a shower, go to bed, girl. I'm not dealing with it. And all I heard is boom, boom, all this rumbling. I said, girl, okay, look, let me let them fight. Because, girl, I'm, bitch, I'm really finna go crazy. So then I hear Star say, move, let me out. So I, kicked, I said, girl, look, I'm over it now. So I literally kicked down the fucking door. Like, it was one kick, two kicks, then boom, the whole door flew open. And I was like, but damn, y'all need to shut the fuck it up. So then me and K9 was finna fight. K9 was about to fight me because he said, he told me, shut the fuck up before you beat my ass. I said, bitch, you ain't going to beat shit. So I said, what's up? What's up? So me and K9 finna fight. So that's when, of course, K9 ain't swing, of course. And so I, I stopped. I kept them from fighting. Of course, K9 ain't swing. So I got off the bed. Look at him, still defending them, girl. I'm not defending them. That's, that's how I stopped the fight. Girl, I you stopped the but fight. You even say, okay, you stopped the fight. Whoop de doop de doo. You want a fucking cookie. She no, stopped you, the fight. You want a cookie. She stopped the fight. Okay, she anyway, got up between the fight. Anyway, she said, please, okay, don't fight them. I'm not arguing. I'm not I arguing. got up like that said, situation. I went in my room. I, I, right, and I shut my door that worked. Yeah, the same way I shut the you and the door that worked. Going upside each other's head, throwing chairs that at each other and stuff. Like uh -huh. that. Clothes and stuff was flying. And I, me and K9 jumped up a week. Wasn't no fight. clothes flying. Ain't no, ain't no whoop de do uh, Yesterday, he had a pile of clothes in the, um, the little bag that he had with about three pants, two shirts, he, and one pair of shoes. Oh, same thing like K9 when K9 only had four pair of jeans and one he shirt. He did it. He, had, he actually, like when he came let, Okay, let me, let's, let's, let me, let's, 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 let's get, get back on check in. Let's close out this Beagle check. Y'all left Beagle. Why? Why did y'all leave Beagle? Why are y'all not on Beagle? It was, I just feel like, excuse me, girl. I feel like it was just too toxic. You know, I, that's how I feel. It was just too toxic. You know, just everything that was going on, it was just so overwhelming. And I didn't want to, and I was, felt like I was stressing, going crazy and stuff like that. So when I finally took a step back, and then a lot of things, everything with the twins, it came to drama, 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 and stuff like that. And I wanted to shift our brand from the drama to the positivity before it be too late. Because a lot of people got careers, and they're known for being dramaish, and they nobody. And they still trying to be somebody, but it's too hard for them to be somebody because of some fact they got that surrounded by their brand too much already. So I was thinking smart to shift the brand from negativity to positive. It could be a little bit of shaking up and stuff from here and there. But however, I love, you know, us just being, you know, calm, cool. They can see a little bit of mess, but just know. Shay gonna be the messy one. You gonna be the messy one. I'm gonna be the classy one because you messy. I stopped. I've been stopped being on too. You messy, girl. Just say you know. I had to girl shut the fuck up. She messy. You messy, bitch. You so you know. I kept. You know. It was just. It was too much. I was calling my cousin Montana. Like one of my cousin Montana. That's like 
like that's like one of my best cousins. It's I love not, him. But he he of course he's the LGBTQ. He real cute, handsome of course, and that's like my, that's like my role dog. Like, ugh. so I was calling him all the time. Like, bitch, this, 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 this. he's like, girl, y'all need to like even with the situation with greeting and stuff. He used to be mad at me. He used to be wanting to beat my ass or fight me because I'm still with him. Like, shit, you don't need to do something like that. So I let be go. It was just too much. I'm tired of the twins. Everybody always paying us out to be the fucking bad guys. It's like when every situation. They pin us out to be the bad guys. And that's not true because we do so much for fucking people and we help so much fucking people out. And it's just, y'all, when the cameras come on, everybody want to make it seem like, oh, the twins this, the twins that, the twins this. And then when we shift it from that, now all you see is pause and stuff. Oh, yeah, the twins moved on. The twins did this. Or the twins doing good. Like, I just got sick and tired of the drama. I couldn't Will y'all ever go back to that or an app like that? I know y'all been tipping over there lately. Is there, is there, are y'all setting up for a return over there or what are y'all doing? We we might we might will be we probably will be returning to Bigo just to come back. Being so like the atmosphere, a lot of people is gone. They don't really be on, so they like twins. Come get some entertainment. So maybe me and Star, we'll just do our own entertainment and not really worry about the drama. Cause I don't want to be attached with the drama. I don't want people to look at the Win Twins brand and when they look it up, all you see is drama, 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 drama. It's like oh shit, well these bitches need to be on some ratchet shit. You know what I'm saying? I want them to show like the good life. What we do. Stop just showing like the bad. Show like the good and what we Have do. Have y'all explored other apps? Um, no. I mean, oh, Miko. But Miko was just giving me like Caucasian. I couldn't deal with it. I can't read that shit. I don't know what's going on. I couldn't deal with it. Okay. Um, all right. All right. There's, there's, there's definitely other opportunities I'll definitely tell you about um, that are coming up and that are up now. That, uh, I, you know, whatever. You just got to kind of know what you're doing. Uh, so y'all left Bigo. Let's talk about Ace and Xanax. Our people were talking about that in the comments. Tell us who they are and what that happened. What happened on that? I mean, it's it's really no. Okay, so no, Ace oh. Ace is like my gay baby daddy. Yeah. It's nothing wrong with Ace. I yeah. love Ace to this day. It's nothing wrong with Ace. It's Ace it's is my Houston. We talk about right? Huh? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Ace just a lot of people just thought because, like, I love Ace. Ace just. It's just at times where people just pop up to your house and you just like, wait, hold on. You didn't give a phone call that you was coming over. And people thought I was we was being shady, but we wasn't. And like I said, I hope it's no bad blood with Ace. Once again, I love Ace. Ace is still my gay baby dad. I still got Ace number. Like, yeah, it's, no, it's no problem with Ace. No problem with now, Xanax used to be my gay son. That used to be my gay son. Of course, I loved him to death. Like, anybody could tell you, like, I love that he used to live with me. I let him live with me. I didn't even know Xenix like that. Xenix, I met Xenix on fucking Bigo. And seeing that he was a handsome young man, everybody used to be like, oh, he do this, he trick, he do all this, that, and the weird shit. And I'm like, as me being 23 and Xenix being like 19 years old, I, maybe he could be my gay son and I can help him out. So as I'm talking to Xenix, Xenix like, yeah, he really ain't got nowhere to go and stuff like that. And, you know, X, Y, and Z. So I'm like, okay, look, you could come move into my house. You could come move in with me and stuff like that. You ain't got to worry about paying no rent, no bills. I, you ain't got, my rent is a, my rent is like a lot of money, like over $2,000. I swear to God, this, part, this apartment we in now is like $2,000. So you ain't got to worry about paying no rent, no water, no, um, no, what is it? Cable, no Wi-Fi. Wi no Wi-Fi. Only thing I want you to do in my house is wash the dishes, take out the trash. That's all. And help me with my TikTok content or TikTok content. That's all. That's all I want you to do. That's your rent a month. That's your rent every month. Why couldn't he do that? What I, he just thought, okay, so to him, so he was doing it sometimes, then he was leaving the dishes in the sink, and I'm like, Zenix, get up and do this. Get up and do that. Look, I'm sick of time you keep doing this. Oh, I'm this, I'm that. I'm like, no, I don't give a fuck. You're not paying the rent. So when he started dating his boyfriend, he started dating his boyfriend, um, and, his, and I let his boyfriend come down. So Xenix had called me one day. I was getting my nails and I believe him. was like, hey, mom, can my boyfriend come down? And I'm like, oh, uh, for how long? He like, well, he need, he want to come down for seven days. I said, mm, a weekend is fine, but I don't know about seven days. And he like, um, okay. So he they come down. I actually really started liking a boyfriend as a friend, like no shade. And so it was just a lot with that. 
I was finding out from the boyfriend that Xanax was talking so much bad shit about me. Xanax told me in front of the boyfriend, I think you only want me in your house just so I can wash the dishes and take out the trash. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? You really going to say that? I want you in my house to wash the dishes and take out the trash. Why would I want you? I could wash my own dishes and take out the trash. You ain't giving me no goddamn rent money. So then all I wanted from Xanax, to be honest, because I'm about to stay on Xanax situation, is just to get a job. And I'm trying to help him out because I love him as like a son. Because me, I'm thinking like, what if I never really had no kids? I love Xanax. He like a son. <laughs> just then <and> third. <laughs> so it was, just, it was just too much with that. So Xanax and all that, it was just a lot of blowing out. Where so Xanax couldn't be my Xanax wasn't my son no more because it was just too much unloyal shit he was doing. After I knew you longer than your boyfriend, I let you come in my motherfucking house rent free, ain't gotta do shit, ain't gotta but sleep your motherfucking ass on my couch, watch TV. Cause then you broke my my TV in my living room is fucking broken. Okay, and he broke my fucking TV. Somebody in the comments, shout out to Xanax. <laughs> Somebody in the comments asked about Dukiana. Okay, so. Cousin, allegedly, is she really? Yeah. Is she really your cousin? Is she really? No. Your so what? What Dukiana is, you know? Okay. You, present, you introduce her as biologically related to you. Is she biologically? Yeah. Related? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what Dukiana is, you know? Dukiana, I'm, gonna you, I'm gonna ask you on my phone, but okay, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. 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 No. So what Dukiana is? Dukiana is, you know. Long story making short about Dukiana. You know, I love Dukiana to death, to dearly. You know, it was just some things that's in place. I feel like, you know, when, you know, you network with people and when people get, you know, some type of network, you know, they take the network and run and they start branching off and they do their own thing, which is fine. And then I feel like when it's time to, when you ask, you know, somebody for a favor or, you know, for something, then it's a lot of bickering and backering back. And it's just like, well, bitch, you know, I, you know, I network with you to help you on, you know, certain things. So, and we don't, the twins don't need help because the twins will always be the win twins. Regardless, without a page, bitch, we were still the win twins. But just something that we had came up, something small we had came up with with Dukiana. And, you know, not necessarily she declined it, but I just feel like she started acting, you know, just a little bit different when she starts seeing, you know, some followers coming and stuff like that. But that was something, you know, that was something that, we were supposed to talk about no see we real to dukiana and dukiana real us so nobody never seen us on the internet bashing each other exactly. about it because that's not for the internet if i love dukiana if dukiana my cousin and we dukiana cousin and we know that there's like a little bit of you know problem between each other i don't need to get on the internet and tell them oh well i'm not talking to dukiana because it is on no then that wouldn't be that wouldn't be law what was law was me and her we act we all had a conversation and we got some things understood and stuff even i was mad when dukiana stopped coming over our house. I was like, bitch, we used to be together all the time. What's going on? And yeah. Dukiana told us that we need to understand that, you know, she got things going on. And that's something we need to understand because we try, cause we so spoiled. Our brother Black will tell you that we spoil you. Yeah, so, it, was just, it, it was just, you know, it's just a lot. But then, like I said, but we, as far as Dukiana, we good. I love Dukiana. She funny as fuck and everything. Like I said, we had to get, when I talked to her the other day on the phone, like three, three days ago, and we had to just get like a, we had to just like really talk like all of us had talked about everything and it was like we all thanked each other for not going on live even discussing anything that was going on and don't nobody still know what was what had went on behind right, the scenes right. but it was just just something like a just something that just something how we feel or whatever it. yeah and that was it, it but was we fixed. but we great we all yeah. in a great space I'm happy a lot of people think we jealous why would I be jealous of my fucking cousin. I would never be jealous of my fucking cousin because she doing good. I want her to win. Because when that, if that bitch beat me, bitch, she going to put me on. If I beat her, I'm going to put her on. So regardless, we're going to put each other the fuck on. But if someone someone might say, why would you be jealous of your sister? Y'all have made allegations that y'all jealous of each other before. I'm not, <laughs> jealous, I'm not jealous of this bitch. She, ain't got, she got a dick just like I got a dick. Why would I be jealous of her? That's yeah. something for a woman to say. But okay, let's go uh, moving right along. I'll leave it. I'm gonna just let that hang in the air for just two seconds. Uh so y'all okay, y'all leave Bigo, y'all leave Dukiana, y'all leave Shamar, y'all leave everybody. Y'all start doing TikTok. What do y'all like TikTok doing the TikToks and stuff like that? I know a couple of them went viral a little bit. Listen, What's TikTok that? is real lit. Like I remember and my 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 how can I say this? My old son, who was my son, he actually helped uh helped us with TikTok. 
because we didn't know really about TikTok until he helped us with TikTok. And that's how our video went viral, viral with our 1.8 million views. It went fucking viral. We didn't even know. He was just like, okay, look, do this idea. And we're like, okay, he helped us with TikTok. But TikTok is cool. We're going to do some more videos. We was just really worrying about getting our fucking page, page back. back. That was our biggest concern because we worked so hard to build our followers up and build our fan base up. So we just was worrying about getting this page back. So now we've got it back. More content will come. And we just trying to collab with a lot of different content creators on TikTok. Yeah. Right. That's wonderful. Y'all filmed the reality show. What happened? Y'all filmed what? the pilot. What happened? Well, who? Well, who? Y'all filmed a pilot for a reality show during the time when y'all was dating K9. <laughs> what happened to the show? Oh, so it was a it's a lot of it was a lot of things with and I really don't want to discuss it, but it was just a lot of things with the per the people who shot the show and so just came something, out. yeah, some things we didn't like so, about it. Yeah, so I didn't the way that they did it, I didn't like it at all. It was just disgusting. It was just the quality wasn't. I was just like, child, fuck it. So that's why we on another YouTube show as of right now, um, and I'm just so excited to be about it. I can't really talk about it because then nobody know we on a show. So let's just move on. Okay, next question. Ladies, 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 Gotta do was just so would you, I think y'all should release the one y'all had put it on YouTube or something, make a little comment from it, but let the people see it. That was definitely a little insight into yeah. that was cute. It was it was cute, it was dope. It was all right, okay. So so and y'all did bring up y'all on something else. So we can be looking forward to something from y'all on the reality spectrum very soon, is what y'all saying. Yes, but, of course. All right, so let's get into some personal questions and we're gonna wrap up in a few minutes. But how many surgeries have y'all had? One. I just One. got my boobs done. All I got is my boobs done, and everything else is natural. The, thing, the, the face, boobs. the face, the I nose, the oh. cheeks, the oh, chin, the lips, everything, the eyes, like the eyebrows, no eyebrows done. My turn. Uh, <laughs> don't, don't do that ugly. Don't do that ugly. You don't do that ugly. You just don't do that ugly. ugly. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let break. you go next. The fuck, bitch, you so ugly. You need a filter. I was gonna let you go next. All I'm just talking about is me, me, me. Girl, you so ugly. You need a filter. You want to take the filter? Girl, when you take, take the, the filter. filter. Okay, let me take the filter. Let me show your filter. Show your natural face. That that's fine. Take the filter. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> I think you're both very beautiful. So no filter, still beautiful. So so just one surgery and that was getting your boobs done. Are there other surgeries to come? You will have to be you know how to be a woman. What you said? What you say? <laughs> are, are there other surgeries to come? Are no. Don't think she won't get her body done, but she gonna look ten fucking percent. But she gonna look like she gonna look like SpongeBob. So when she get her body done. <laughs> so do y'all think y'all will ever go into getting the the vagina? I don't want that. No, nah, I love getting head too much by men. So mm. I love just laying back getting head. Mm. I just feel more like a lady. I feel like a lady. <laughs> that makes me feel like a lady. Uh, just shake it for real. You don't like getting hit by guys? Hey, if you like it, I love it. Um, um, that's what it is. I'm just asking. Um, what are your concerns about uh, family now? Are you gonna? Are y'all looking for? Do you want any of you want children? I do. do you I, wanna... I really want one child. I really do. But I'm gonna find like a trans man to, or like a cute. Stood that looked just like a man to party and most likely have a baby with. Okay, what about you, Star? Mm, Star actually almost had a baby by a trans man, and but Star had to go take the girl to the um the boy to the um to the CVS to go get a Plan B pill. That motherfucker was crazy. You want to know what's so crazy and what's so funny? I'm shaking. What's funny? That, that you was the messiest, and I feel like some things well some people don't know is not for everybody to know, but you is the messiest, like. The oh, mess no. over your eyes. No, because bitch, you was so messy. It makes no sense how messy you. I don't need you to tell nobody what I. If I decide I want to disclose any information that's going on with me, let me disclose it. I don't disclose nothing 
that you got going on. So let me disclose it. Anyway, you wasn't gonna disclose it, so I had to help you out. Anyway, I don't need no help. You bitch, need I help. need you. I, bitch, I need you to walk across stage. When I walk across stage, I walk across stage by myself. You barely. Yeah. You okay, so wait, wait, wait. So, so it's the case out the bag now, Star. Do you want to talk about it or tell us a bit about that time in your life? It, it, was, a mistake that, it was a, it was a mistake. So that, I wonder how y'all had. Ugh. It was a, it was a, it was a mistake that had happened, and. I don't feel like it was a mistake because I, I know I don't make mistakes, but I feel like it was something that I tried. You know, he looked at just like a, a man. He did. And he was actually fine as fuck. Attitude was just bitchy, ill, because you act like a woman. I don't know, but my men that I talk to right now, baby, my men act like men. They don't act like sissies. They don't do none of that. And long story making short, I got drunk one night. And, you know, I, I'm um those I I wake up to him on top of me, you know. So you was not drunk that night, girl. Yes, I, we, you we was, was at the dog. club. You was we was at the club, but you did not get that yes, drunk. I did. You didn't drink like that. Yes, you I, did not. Yes, I did. So you know exactly what you <laughs> was doing. I'm just shaking. I'm you done. Just, <laughs> so so you tell her to get on. I'm you done. Her, wait, shh, be quiet. So so you tell I'm her. I'm done. Get, wait, I'm done telling my story. Wait. So no, so wait, no, no, they let her. Wait, so stop. Laying on her back. So I was laying on her back and told that trans man, come here, get on top. And the bitch got on top. So I said, you look like, girl, I wasn't a bitch. I was got, oh, oh my God. So you a bitch. You a mess. That King Kong. Girl. Mm -mm. So you had to go get a, you went got a plan B because you thought she was pregnant? Or he was pregnant? I'm not talking no more. Since everything I said in my mouth is a lie from. I don't think it's a lie. Okay. Everything I said in my mouth is a lie from. I'm not talking no more. Yeah, That's I can tell you. Yeah, they got a plan B. Yeah, they got a plan, but she had to go to um CVS or get a plan B or whatever like that. My manager, home girl, y'all was like, push her down the steps. You should push that bitch down the steps. She ain't pregnant. And but went to the y'all were y'all were infamous on Bigo for some of the most elaborate storylines in the business. People still talk about y'all as legendary for your storylines. Back in the game. Who is the one that was writing for y'all? Was it Brandon or was that something y'all was just coming up with? No. <laughs> Stuff that we was coming up with. We just want to <laughs> Some story like dope storylines. I was like, bitch, we should do. <laughs> Greedy and can I both have said at one point that, that y'all relationship was a storyline, but then they retracted that and said it wasn't. And then it was all kind of, yeah, it was, though it's not, whatever it was convenient for them. What can you tell us to definitively date? What was, if any part of your relationship, not the foolishness surrounding the relationship, just the relationship was a storyline? Nothing in my relationship with Greedy was a storyline. Nothing. Anything we did on camera was not a fucking storyline. Everything was real. Well, my relationship well, was not no It was just like everything, everything was real. Everything was real. My relationship. It was not one was thing that was fake. How can you fake? How can you fake being Next in a relationship? Question, she gonna keep going how can, on you, and how on. can you fake being in a we relationship with somebody that. if y'all living together? We don't want to hear that. Every single day and he's sleeping in your bed. How can, I can't fake that. When the camera's on, I can't fake that. We don't want to hear that. Okay. We don't want to hear you, bitch. We don't want to hear you, bitch. Then you cut me off and I was telling my story. Bitch, you ain't got a story. It don't matter. Now, Shay, give, give your sister a little, a little chance. I told, I told that's, a, a that's a loud, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a loud, loud bitch. That's a loud, get off me. 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 Let me ask this, and then we'll die in one of them. So those, those were, those were. Stop playing with me, girl. Stop playing with me, girl. Yeah, girl. Okay, so my question is, what, what's I, next? I don't need her to tell my story about me. I didn't tell your story. Don't, don't, well, don't think that you, because I barely told you, bitch. You only know what you thought that you heard. So, you was not <laughs> drunk. I want you to tell the truth. You was not drunk. I was drunk. Because, sorry, she can, no, some can really Ladies, 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 ladies. She can go to jail. <laughs> so, I don't care. Oh, to wrap this up. What's, I, what's, I, what's, I woke, up to that, what's, I woke up to him on top of me, right? me, the fuck? Then all I know is, bitch, I woke up when I was coming, bitch. And I found out I was coming inside of him. Long story, make it short, I went to go get a plan B. He decided he not want to get a plan B. I called my manager and I told my manager something had happened. I don't know if he's pregnant. I don't want no kids right now because I'm so scared and this, that, and the third. And so long story making short, bitch, I went to CBS after he denied it and said he already took a plan B. I went to CBS, went to the back. I forgot how much money I paid, like $30-something for a fucking plan B. I bought a water. I said, here you go, sir. Take this pill. 
He took the pill and threw the water back and opened up his mouth and I said, let's go. From there on, I told myself, I don't want no pussy. It don't feel good, it don't look good, and I don't want it. Never. So let me ever. ask you, can I ask you a question, Auntie Shaky? And I want you to be honest. Sure. If somebody riding your dick, if a girl riding your dick, and then you waking up when you nutting, how does that, what? What's the question? How does it, what? It, no, like, would, do you, like, do you, do you, but no, let me ask you a question. Would you believe it? Do you believe that, that Star was just drunk and the girl got on top, the boy got on top, right, right, ooh, then now she about to nut, so Star said, oh, you jumped up and it was nothing all up in her and stuff like that. I then what, Star went back to sleep. I, do you believe that? <laughs> I believe it could be, I believe it's possible. I believe it's possible. Huh? It was letting let loose. I mean, <laughs> I, I believe Man, I don't believe that shit. No, nah, for real. I don't, I, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't right. believe But who am I to judge? Yeah, who are you to judge? What's, what's, what's wait, next? What's wait, next have, what is wait. next to your relationship front? Are y'all in a relationship? Either, either of you? No, I just talk to like, I talk to people. I just, you know, just talk to guys. My relationship is private right now. But yes, I am in a happy relationship. My man is so nice to me. And it's private. Will we ever get to see that, though? That aspect of you? Uh, that one thing that connected you to your family. Shaky. Of course y'all be able to shake, shake. <laughs> y'all be a mess. Of course. No, y'all would. The thing is, for me, is that for real, shaky. <laughs> shaky for real. The thing is, for me, with my relationship, Nick, uh, I, I do talk to somebody. And I feel like when I ever show them to the world, you ain't got nothing to hide. You know, at the end of the day, what people like with trans women, you know, when they see a guy come, they see a guy like you was hard while you was sleeping. She read that comment. With trans women, when a guy come out and tell the world, you know, that he's into trans or this and the third, you know, every a lot of trans women get so thirsty and, and hungry, and all the roaches come out. They roaches. They like roaches. They come out and they scatter, and they and it's like they want to fuck. You know, that guy that just came out. What I am somewhat thankful for, for Keith, is that when trans women was coming to him, he was blocking, he was ill with, he was just like, not good, I'm in a happy relationship, no thanks love, or something like that. He, he did not do me how a lot of people do. You know, and that's why I respect him to today. You know, he messed around with one trans woman that, that, know, that knew about me, and, you know, I know of now, and there's no beef. You know, I respect all women. I'm not just going to put it on a woman part. Mm. Me and the bitch was never friends, so it, it's not no click, clink in her mind. But the part that she told me, I don't like to put my business out, but the part that she told me about, you know, she did, it was best friends at first, and then it ended up leading elsewhere. She started the friendship, but it's something that he wanted, and he was just in love with me and her at the same time, which is weird. And I, it's possible for somebody to be in love with two people because I was in love with two people. I didn't know which fits the straddle, you know? But I just feel like, thanks to Keith, that he wasn't that guy that knew, okay, he freshly opened. It's a lot of trans women that want him. He didn't just go, fuck, 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 fuck. <clears throat> he was actually with me. And then when he, when, you know, then when he cheated, he cheated, then consequences came. And then, you know, we broke up and that's fine. But it's like when guys come out, to the world, the roaches come out. I call a trans woman that's thirsty for the men. I call them roaches. And the roaches come out. And that is true. And that's and that's why I could give, even though, of course, greedy, he crazy, and he, you know, child, whatever he claimed it was, what it is. I'm not even finna argue about that. But I'm glad when trans women try to talk to greedy too, greedy was like ill. Greedy would block him. Greedy would do the same shit. Like fucking, like, I went through greedy phone almost every night. Never found shit. Greedy went through my phone. Never found nothing. I never found nothing in his phone. Greedy never cheated on me. Greedy never did any fucking thing <clears throat> to me. Like, oh, okay, so th would there be a chance for him back in your life at some point? Um, greedy. <clears throat> um, no, I don't. I just wish him the best. Um, and success in his life. W once I break, like he, tr of course, you remember he took me out to um. What's that goddamn restaurant? Um, Kobe's. He took me out to Kobe's, paid for the dinner and everything. After that, he tried to get back with me and move back in. It wouldn't work. I, they was t it, it was telling me no. Yeah. It, 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 it won't work. I don't want it. Like, I just, I, out of anything, I would love to be friends with him, be back friends with him, and we just, like, literally be friends. That's it. Like, we hang out, go to the bar, 
and stuff like that. Now, I don't know what will happen if, <clears throat> you know, we go to the bar. Maybe I might give him a little bit of this pussy, but I don't want no relationship no more. I don't want to. I just, I just want sex. That's all I want from him. I don't. All want, I want is a piece of dick from him. From K9, I don't want anything. I don't, anything. Want I don't from K9, I want nothing but good space friends. That's it. I don't look at him as like, oh, I'm going to fuck him. I want to fuck him. I don't look at him as none of that. I look at him as a cool ex fiance. And so I respect the title that we had. And guys would be like, oh, who that? I'd be like, oh, that's my ex fiance. You know, I wouldn't say, oh, that's a fuck nigga. No, I, I, res I respect K9 because one thing I could say, he was a real man and a real nigga about a lot of things. K9 and Greedy Beef. You knew that, right? Y'all know that? Yep. Yep. It, it's, yeah. Okay. In the course of their beef, Y'all names come up a lot. And each alleged, K9 agree, alleges that Shay was fucking greedy, and greedy alleges that Star was fucking K9. What can you say about them and what they talk about each other? Can y'all say, follow what I just said? It's all a lie. It's all a lie. I what happened in my bedroom, and I'm going to say it like this, and I'm going to leave it firm. Whatever happens in my bedroom happens in my bedroom. Shay don't know what happens in my bed, what happened in my bedroom till today. <clears throat> and Greedy never knew what happened in my bedroom, despite the lies that he said he walked in and K9 was giving me head. Nope. That's a lie. You never walked in when me and K9 had sex. So whatever happened in my bedroom, whether who was who, who was doing what, that's going to be my personal business. And to, until today, it's still going to stand my personal business. I'm not asking no questions on who was this, who was that. We had sex. That's it. So with me, I'm going to just, I'm gonna just keep it at this. I'm not saying what happened in my bedroom. Just know I had a lot of great things that happened in my bedroom. A I lot had, of surprises. I had, I had a lot of fun it's in my bedroom. Surprises and that's all what I'm going to leave to guess at. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not clearing up nothing. Whether I fuck Greedy, whether he fuck me, I'm not clearing up nothing. I'm not, whatever happened, happened. And that's all I'm going to say. But can I admit it? Can I, one thing I can say is what can I did say something about is about the head part. You know what I'm saying? He said it on live. For sure. I'm just shaking. You was on live with Super them when he said it. I'm just asking you for the public that don't know about that. I know everything. I know a lot more than you think that's, I know, to be honest. But, but oh, I'm yeah. no, this is your interview. It don't matter if I know about it, it matters what the people know. We're asking you to tell the people. Yeah, so with, with that, I mean, that's, I mean, you gotta understand. People go. What, what is it that I know that the people don't? What are you talking about? He admitted to what? No, I am just saying, you knew about the head part. Because that's something that people, the, the people don't. What I don't know, the, what the people do I know? A lot of people knew because he said it on Big Up. On what, did say, what did he say on Big Up? No, about the head. He was like, I pleased my girl. And yes, I did give her head. Okay. You know, whatever. But that, I mean, so the fuck, so the, I, to me, so the fuck what? It's sex. What the fuck? Woo, 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 woo. It's not a yeah. bad thing. So if you will, okay, so my question is, if you will admit to that aspect, of your relationship in that part of your bedroom, and he admitted to that part of your bedroom. Why won't you clear his name? Or talk, you have an opportunity right now. It's damn near a thousand people here. We have a thousand people for two hours straight, unheard of. What okay, are I, 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 I don't. Uh, I don't know whether to clear up. He t he told. He Greedy told. On Rants says he saw and no has knowledge of you fucking K nine. This is what it is to clear up. No, that's a lie. Okay, that's a lie. That's a lie. I'm cutting up right now. That's a lie. Okay. That's a lie. And so in, the, uh, in other aspects, aspects, K9 is saying that he's adamant that Shay fucked Greedy. Oh, I, I don't know. I was in that bedroom. I never walked in that bedroom and seen anything. So I can't, you know, say what's what. That's what that is. Hey, what you looking at? You ain't nothing on that phone more important than what's going on over here. Come on. No, it, no I just said I'm not learning. I'm not, like, this is the thing. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna just keep it all the way G. You, cause I'm, I'm gonna do God. What will God do? Which is I'm not. Let me not even put God in this situation. But let me just say one thing. I'm gonna just be honest. I have asked Greedy one time in a room, can I fuck him? Greedy told me no. He had knocked me. He had knocked me the fuck off. I asked him some shit like that. So Greedy, I never fucked Greedy. I swear my right hand to God, I never fucked Greedy, and Greedy never gave me no head. Greedy half ate me out, ate my ass. And of course, was fucking me every almost every fucking day, but that's it. That's all. I never. Oh, fucked. So you cleared that. That's it. So that's you cleared it. It's not wrong with that. You cleared the answer. 
None of y'all never penetrated any of them. So why I don't know why they're lying on each other, but they probably need to stop. It's like shut up. Like that's the thing. Like it's like shut the fuck up with that. Like it never happened. I could we could go on more. We could go take a lot of tech tests. Y'all can even pay for a lot of tech tests. And I bet you I never fucked him. He never gave me hair. The first time Greedy fucked me, when we had fucked on the side, like we had laid down, we had fucked sideways. When Greedy had felt me, I guess, hard, Greedy literally jumped like that because he was like, oh, like, you know, he felt my body. Like, he was just like, oh, like, I was like, oh, shit, what if he get turned off by it? I don't know. But he wasn't. We, it was cool. Okay. Hey, that's what it is. All right. So future endeavors. Okay, we know about, wait, whatever happened to the pancake mix? I know y'all had a pancake mix out. What happened to that? Us, the link is still in our bio. Yes, we just got a new ship. We just got a new shipment in. I want to say like three days ago. We just got a new big shipment in three days ago. So make sure y'all click the link in our bio to order it. Right, we just trying to right now. Ben said we got our page, but we gotta be. It was real. Cool. We got it in on Monday. So okay, cool. Monday. We just really being like real strict right now with our page, with like posting things. Like it's just so scary because losing your page is not fun, and then it's a lot of fucking money. To get your page back, like I pay a lot of fucking money to get my page back. All right. Like, so what, what about other future endeavors can we look for? I know y'all were looking to hair one time, and there was clothing one time, and then maybe makeup. What can we look up, look for for the Wing Twins in the future? That's a great thing. Um, well, I could just say I don't. I could just say one thing. Um, our, our own show. Let's just say that y'all might get that coming. Our own show, and just know if we do have our own show, I can't really talk about. It, just know. That these bitches going shit on itself. So let's talk about that. Who is it that? Well, well I mean, you know, I don't want to put a light on people that don't like y'all, but y'all have had a lot of people that have counted y'all out. Um, what would you say to them right now? Um, well, that's what you get. You look dumb. You look dumb as fuck. You look stupid. I know your stomach hurt. <laughs> I know your stomach hurt. Right. I mean, I don't have nothing to say because. I'm too blessed that I don't even see the hate. So, if, like, if hate was to come, God would just block it out because I don't see it. So, I don't, you know. Definitely, definitely, definitely. All right. Well, this is at the point of the interview where I shut up. And I'm going to give y'all five minutes to talk y'all shit. Thank y'all supporters. Say fuck you to anybody that y'all want to say fuck you to or say you love everybody. No, okay. Can you bring some people up or, like, ask the questions? Wait, wait. Five minutes, though, because I want my phone to die. Just no. five minutes, comment, ask questions. This, this is y'all interview. I'm not, when I do interviews, I don't bring people up. If they want to ask you oh, something, tell them to follow you and ask you to real life. Okay, so talk comment y'all. Okay. okay, so make sure y'all follow my Auntie Shaky. Make sure y'all follow us. Don't forget, I will be posting my triplet sister and tagging her. Please don't be DMing her crazy shit because she will block y'all. I'm going to just tell y'all that off the rip. But I'm going to post her on our Insta story as soon as we get off this live, so check that out. But I want y'all to ask us questions. I want y'all to ask right. us real questions. And we're going to answer the questions. We're going to answer the questions. Soon they come. Soon as they come from the comments, shaking. You don't have to go. No, no, to do a, no, no, no. Do a Q and M. Turn off the comments. Y'all not even listening. Turn off comments. In. This is this is. You could do a Q and A on your live right after, uh, after interview or anything. That's what the content is. This is your interview, and this is your last five minutes to shout out your people. Tell them whatever where they can follow you at. Where you get the pancake mix, or if you don't want to say, you want to say fuck all your haters. This okay, is your so yeah. you don't so do that. Go. This is not okay. looking at people. Your interview. This Okay, so click the link and I'll buy y'all to order our pancake and waffle mix. Yes, it's really motherfucking delicious. Yeah. Make sure you check out um, my homegirl Erica Spots, her uh, restaurant. So cool. Make sure y'all check out um, Tina's and Gina's. Tina's and Gina's. It's in um, Alabama, the restaurant. Birmingham. Yeah, Alabama, period. Um, <laughs> yes, just make sure that y'all continue to stay tuned. I really wanted to answer some questions, but yes, I, I want to. In the comments, though, like I that's too easy for you. That's too easy for okay, you. This so is your to... talk your shit. This is not no. This okay, so to... just always just just stay tuned in with the wind twins. Just know we always got something going on. Don't believe you know what people gotta say about us, um, and shit like that. You know, come find out for yourself. Of course, people say a lot of shit about a lot of motherfucking people, but what we do, we find out shit for our motherfucking self. I can't wait till y'all see us actually on a YouTube show. I'm really excited about that. I don't know why I keep talking about it. But I'm really excited about that because I feel like that's something y'all will really get to know, like our personality with us filming like a whole season and not just we in one scene and then cook it. That's it. But y'all get to see how the scenes and everything play out. So make sure y'all follow us so y'all can see that. That will be coming real soon. Um, so go ahead. 
I'm not saying nothing for me to say, but I love you guys. Thank you guys for who been who have been supporting the Win Twins movement. Um, thank you guys for supporting us. Yeah, um, keep supporting. Girl, you just said start. Go ahead. You okay, well, bitch, you can go. You can go. Okay, so make sure y'all just like I said. Make sure y'all just. Anyway, no, no, you're oh, okay. Time. Now, now, you're go. You over here just time. Bitch, you ugly. Anyways, like I said, make sure that y'all continue to support the Win Twins. And just be positive. Do not let nobody get in the way. Do not let nobody tell y'all what you cannot do. So all the women out there, just know, women, you are beautiful. We rock the motherfucking world. I'm a bad bitch. Oh, another thing. Have confidence. Because a lot of women don't have confidence. So when they look at the twins, they be like, oh, girl, y'all wearing this. Y'all wearing we that. Love like, and you want to know the reason why? Women. You want to know the reason why y'all saying ill? It's because y'all don't have that confidence. To put it on and walk out the door. You gotta know how to have confidence and rock that shit. You gotta know how to wear it. I love women. Wear it, wear it, wear it. Yes, and that's a big thing. Women, I we have the best coochie. That's, right. That's the that's the one of the biggest things I wanna stress because they always trying to make it seem like that trans woman is a, no the trans woman is like us. I'm speaking for all self and I'm speaking for all self. I really love naturally born women. Y'all is my bitches. Y'all the ones that I'd be like, oh that bitch look bad. Hold on, I might need to cop them jeans. I might need to cop them shoes. I don't hate on y'all. I love y'all. Now, bitch, I might fuck y'all, man, but I still love y'all. I love y'all. I still love y'all. Tell y'all niggas to move out. <laughs> let me just stop. I ain't gonna fuck y'all, man. But no, I really love y'all. So I don't want you. And let me tell y'all something. Don't never worry about what a bitch gotta say. So many people look up to us because we don't care what a person. I came on here with no makeup on and my lashes leaning. I don't care what another bitch say about me. I'm confident. I do not care. What you if eat, you gotta what you eat will not don't make me shit. Period. What you gotta what you gotta feel realize and you gotta understand people is that you the only one that pay your bills. Nobody in the comments pay your bills. Nobody outside gonna walk up to you and say, Oh, I wanna pay your bill today. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta understand you gotta have self confidence. That's number one. Without confidence, you're gonna always second guess everything. What bitch, when I wake up when I want to go to Publix or a store, I'm like, bitch, I'm going to put this on. I'm just going to the grocery store. Because hmm. I have confidence. Another bitch that don't have confidence going to wake up and be like, oh, girl, girl, I can't go to the grocery store right now. My hair not done. Or my this ain't done. That, no, you got to have confidence to know that you're yes. still beautiful. Just because you, what you worried about a man looking at you? Girl, it's going to be men out here regardless. So have confidence in yes, self-love. Self -love. I love, love yourself first. I love big women. I love skinny women. I love all types I of women. I love Shaggy. No. Shaggy Shake. Oh, also, make sure y'all, make sure, y'all, make sure to please y'all, please support us. Click the link in our bio. Please order pancakes, order uh, merch. We do have merch. We do have merch. Also, booking if y'all want to send us things or any booking, put us in magazines. Book us for a club. Y'all want us on a special talk TV host. Y'all want us to host y'all party. Y'all want us to do whatever. Please, Just please, please. Us. DM us all, the email that's in the bio, please, please, please email my manager. She will get back with you ASA, please, please. Like I said, thank y'all so much for always supporting us. Thank y'all for rocking with us. We love y'all. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, definitely, definitely uh, amazing, amazing interview. Another one in the books. I appreciate y'all coming through and blessing uh, our, my pe me and my people with uh, some of with some of y'all flavor. And one of the reasons why I love y'all so much. Uh, it's always been the same with us since day one. Since day yeah. one, we never had an issue. We've never had, it was one issue, but we've got over it. But we never had an issue. We never had anything. And so definitely, y'all are definitely some of my favorites. And I look forward to seeing y'all do a lot more. You have a lot, so much more to give. So thank y'all so much for coming up, coming over. I don't know if y'all finna <laughs> hey, on y'all back. Uh, huh? Hold on. Wait, y'all, I know everybody keeps saying do Q&A. We finna go live within about, probably when we get off Shaky Live, because Shaky got stuff to do. He don't want to do a Q&A. Right. But, so we'll just go live. <laughs> God, <laughs> We'll do a Q&A, let y'all ask any questions. Yeah. When any I questions. do an interview, I'm asking the questions. I'm good at it. I don't have to do a q and I'm good at asking questions. I'm good at interviewing. I don't have to do a Q&A. Okay. Love y'all so much. Y'all have one. This will be going on YouTube. Thank y'all.